Goaty. It's an adjective. To be the all-time greatest version of yourself. So if I said that you were goaty, I'm saying that your behavior is of or pertaining to goat activity, whatever that may be. So be goaty. Greatest of all time, you. Hey, we're the last four boys at the foster home. Also, <laughs> no, also no. known as More Than Culture. Do you have a business or not? Come to the More Than Culture program. And you can place your ad here, right on our show. You can have companies such as... Trim Hedges. Mm, we Pre advertise it. Pressure Wash Dryways. We'll advertise it. If you got a soccer game coming soon, we'll advertise it. Hey, even if you cut grass or hell, <laughs> it ain't no budget out of To them. get you to do a commercial. Mm. Solicitation genius. commercial. You should have been said. <laughs> That's a shirt. That's a shirt. <laughs> I need them to know too, cause your your money, we finna we gonna pop your business up. It ain't gonna be like when you watching Discovery and there be a nigga in the corner of the thing like, hey, <laughs> she waxes his bikini. Running man, pick up the phone, man. Come on, bro. You say you was gonna be here about two hours ago, man. Tyler, man, come on, bro. I know you got to get up at four in the morning and do the morning show on B one hundred and three, but come on, bro. We got to get the studio together. Damn, boy, I hate your voice, man. Boy, I thought it was you. You know what I'm saying? It was the boss. Hey, man, shit. Pick up the phone, bro. We're supposed to be here at the studio putting stuff together. We got big interviews coming. Where the this up, bro? Ah! Yo, today, bro. Not tomorrow, not yes, now. They got today. Get up off your ass and do it. No, today, bruh. Thank you, Black Chief. Um, hey guys, um, it's Tyler Chronicles and I have um a show in in Cleveland, um, November 26th and 27th, and I'm in between Kevin Stage and Kerwin Claiborne, that's me, in between, and D.L. Hewley, like an actual king of comedy, so if you can find it in your heart to buy a ticket to my show, I'm, I'll be happy because it's my first time headlining, and they, and they headline all the time, everywhere they go. I was the uh, Healy headline when I was when I was eating square pizza in school. So please go to the Cleveland Improv website and buy a ticket for the price for the price of a ticket. It's my first time, and it's. it's we own again. I hope you listening closely. We doing our own thing, but we doing this for the culture. Check out the topics. Check out the topics. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop. Hey, we keep it pop. You can be up next. You can be up next. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. Be safe. be safe, man. Congrats again, brother. Yeah, congrats. Yes, oh, congratulations. Homeowner. Yes, sir. New father. Yes, sir. Congrats. You gotta level up. Your ends gotta look so healthy. Up. Gotta, level up. <laughs> gotta <laughs> level up. It looks like gotta conditions level well. Up. Get every dollar. <laughs> all right, we're like we all work in. Doom, doom, da, da. <laughs> Kamal look like a polo bear, bro. Pause, bro. <laughs> like he just look like the nigga that you get with the blanket. You he say like, you over there looking plushes. <laughs> it's I don't know what right now, my boys. Come on. <laughs> or a manager at Blockbuster. Ooh, Blockbuster, mm. old school. It's the khaki. It's just khakis, right? Is it the, the khaki, khaki with the blue? It's khaki. You getting khaki, khaki profile right now? That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, you getting profiled you like, by your like khaki. Paddington Bear got left in the West Side. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it looked like I secrets? hopped on a train in the cargo area, yeah, like mm. that boy. That boy went over there to the underground, came out with some faux locks. 
Four locks. Four locks. Four locks. Shea butter. Four locks. Little wristbands. I got fake braids one time. Two of them big old Cuban braids. Oh, what? Braids. Can we please? Hold on, Black Ron. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You uh-huh. got fake braids before? I How does it? That was in college. Just got to college. Mm-hmm. I hurt you was my too knee. old for that. You was way too. Bro, old you had micro braids, but I, they was trying to force them on niggas if you did. If you weren't ready to hold on, what type of braids, bro? No, I'm gonna it's tell you what kind. Hold of on, let, can I can, I, let me, can please tell you the story? You had line in your what? hair. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yes. but we got a Tyler wig. Had so look, I, I had I had hurt my knee, so I wasn't going. to What that got to do with the braids? He go get. Do you want me to tell the story? You want to like just. Get to the point where they bring it in. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe phone fall. Maybe drop a phone. Break it down. So, oh, so funny. got hurt, so I wasn't going to the barbershop no more. So my hair started growing. This is, you know, Iverson was popular. I was like, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get braids. So the girl started braiding my hair. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna do something. I'm about to do oh, something. Oh, oh, she oh, set you up. She said, I'm about to do something. If you were ever, if you were ever first, sitting down, never your good. hair braided. Uh-huh. And the girl says, hold up. I'm about to do something. She about to do Especially it. if it's your first time ever getting your hair braided. Question was going have on, a clue. Man. You wouldn't have a clue if you never got your hair braided. You wouldn't be like, I, I, she got some extra hair in the back. She gonna add to my shit. You, you would have thought that. Did no you think idea. that? Can Zero idea. Zero idea. Me. And I still didn't know. She, like she came back, just started going back to work. I'm watching TV, whatever. No, you seen her get that shit out the pack? Nah, I didn't. <laughs> I promise you, I didn't. Yeah, she told you to hold your chair hand out. Like, only, thing, only thing that was different is she was going faster this time. Okay. She was going. I felt her going faster in my hair than she was she when got she got was that like, oh, I'm like, oh, she must have went to do something with her hands and it came, like she, she went back in the back. Of like, she put some icy hot on. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> came back and went crazy. Cracked your shit and went crazy. And then she showed it to me in the in the uh, in the mirror and I was like, oh, that's crazy. My hair is long. As <laughs> it wasn't until like she got right bike, here. Shawty. It wasn't until she like got right here. It went like. Flopped over on you my had face. A bang, I, like, yeah. <laughs> was like, I mean, not what? a bang. The extra, you know, the extra, when the she co- got started, the it hit me. Yeah, she was on the <laughs> side. It never got in the front of me. But when it got up here, oh, so like she did three on the side and then showed them to you. She did one on the side, showed me, and I was cool with it. So I was like, boom, oh, I can't wait. Right, right. right. so, 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 so. Iverson, watch out, cafeteria. Instant hang time. <laughs> So I, know, I, was, I had the jersey. So time. so did you ever dunk when you had braids, like just to feel the wind? And you just to get dang. Every time you talk back, you put bees so on. She, she put bees on them things. Then <laughs> did you grab the bees. ball? Hello, did bees. you grab bees? You is had some bees uh, on black there, rubber then. bands. Little black rubber bands. After you, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, don't question. point me <laughs> out like you. Know yeah, boom, yeah. Yeah, 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 with the with the and one tattoo showing, like, oh, come man, on, son. I stood in the mirror and cried because my so face what year and my was head hurt At so what bad. point what did she tell this? you that oh. she added? Oh, my, you said you saw. Oh, okay, so I know what he did when he got through doing them. Braids. How long you he kept that wig cap on first? He stood in the mirror and was like, mm-hmm. "Yeah." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't never liked Neo. <laughs> you should let me love you. <laughs> oh, who's that? Mario. That's Mario. Yeah, yeah. Like Neo that. wrote it, I think. That's hilarious. That's, hilarious. <laughs> That's my fake hair story, man. For all you ladies. Hold on. How long did you keep it in? Man, I couldn't. You t- oh, it didn't even last it a day? It hurt so bad, bro. He so went to bad. sleep and had them headaches. Yeah, I woke up and was like, yeah, yeah, I get all this out of there. So I had fake First day braids is a different type of experience. It's, oh, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's first time. Cedron, before you go to yeah. bed. First yeah. day braids is different. But you it, it, it kind of did help my hair grow immediately, though. Like, like the next time I went, I could get my real hair braided after that. It was mm. crazy. Yeah, yeah, you kept it in for a week. <laughs> talking about overnight. Scout. Back when I had that real <laughs> thick hair too, boy. The lady Damn, is that she? So she <laughs> fucked your shit up. That's she, hilarious. <laughs> she might have been <laughs> the one you a Did you? Did you? Like, she the one snatched you loose. She pulled out, out my matrix socket. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> she, the worst thing in the when you got that little baby fro and some little girl in your class come by and be like, I can catch that. You be like, you can't. You can't. You can't. Is it she taught it all right. Well, you sit there for half the classroom getting like three braids put in, and then she be like. I ain't got no real bands. I ain't got no grease. And then she got to take it out. Mm. So now you just look whooped on one side. <laughs> <laughs> you look like, look, when, though, the look like when Martin came back from the convent. Yeah. He yeah, had the wire from uh, sunflower. Yeah, I tell you the worst when you get your hair braided at like the Haitian shops with j- they only braid hair in there and they watch them damn 
them soap operas from Haiti. That way you be getting your hair braided? I've got it there before. For or you like waiting on your girl to get micro braids. You, like, you come one. back like, yeah, fast I can't stay in French. They do it fast. They'll do it with two no people on your head. You'll be like, but it's so tight. Like, I can't get the Haitian. The Haitian Ooh, hair, it's, it hurt. Or well, did you go to a salon? Nah, this girl, she be doing it in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, you lap with it. Yeah. yeah. Lap. You ain't gonna have your head in the lap with it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. She got a, she got a whole set up. She in got the a kitchen, whole that's nasty. Nah, my yeah. last one. Like, that tea tree, no, nah, that's bacon grease. You but it's doing, gonna do the same thing. You ain't doing twists next to the food? Nah, I never. Bro, you would wash them dishes the same, man. She's the girl who's No, bro, it's a difference between getting a shampoo and standing up over the sink. It's a whole different thing. No, no, no. She got a chair where you put your head back. You know what I'm saying? It ain't with hair flying all around hair in the air hair in the air I was getting my hair braided at the girl who do my hair now like the last time I got it braided her mama came straight in there and blew a Newport dead in my face hey Ronnie <laughs> what's up Ronnie <laughs> make it enough ah, a cigarette the, to the face is cigarette. very but she let me smoke weed in there that's the only reason I was like let me just go over here she get couldn't my smell it so she let me smoke weed, but she, about she couldn't your smoke. Hair done at a girl's house is they normally wear them little bitty shorts when they come to the door and they do your hair with them little volleyball shorts on the whole y'all time. Y'all just nasty. It be yep. warm. That's cool. the only reason y'all got hair. I was going to say, because they might let you smoke while you get your hair. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the why you do that at the shop. Like, Is that oh, that well, ain't nothing like a shit you go to. Some of them, some of them have a little bit of shorts shop. and a and a adult man face that go <laughs> with it. And you be like, I'm cool. Got strong hands though. Yeah, More than culture hey, is any, the brand. Any, any strong faced woman got a fat monkey. I assure you. <laughs> yeah. That's a monkey. Because you know, God oh. got a sense of humor. He'll never put the best coochie on the best looking hey, Black women. Ron, me, we gonna start the program. Yes, yeah, we're gonna, start, we're gonna let Kamal yeah. start the program. Yeah, that two minutes been over with. I want to get it to the cussing. <laughs> More than culture <laughs> oh, is the brand. <laughs> yeah, we did for sure. This is the More Than Culture Show. Kamal the Secret Genius. Remo Rod. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan. And Sir. you know how we we yeah. down. First of all, we here live at the Moose Layer. Shout, Shout out to Arkansas yeah, man. Black from the Moose yeah, Layer. Black Marcus, Marcus, Art Gallery. Black the Moose Layer Gallery. Spa. I'm from talking about top to bottom. Everything in here is black as fuck. Black yeah. shit. They got a Biggie Smalls video game in the back. Like Believe some me, real man. arcade. It's two million dollars worth of art on the wall. Man, that's sure. Man, they got not exaggerating. You, it, you can bid on it. Got yeah. Marvin Gaye dressed like Avril Lavigne, nigga. <laughs> what you talking about? That's Marvin Gaye said, I'm wearing these boots. <laughs> <laughs> these the ones. <laughs> these boots. <laughs> I want ah. them. Who has been knowing this this young man the longest? I'm trying to think. Jeez, it might be me. Is it me? It, it got to be you. I think it's me, man. It Hold on. First you. of all, we got one of the, the scholars of comedy. We got one of the smartest, most political tapped in comedians. Like when I hear him being talked about in rooms with the whites. <laughs> they regard him in the Chappelle aspect. Mm -hmm. While and still we, being the Malcolm X of comedy. While still being mm -hmm. the Malcolm X of comedy, representing Dallas, Texas, but he was in Atlanta for a while, so we kind of claim him. <laughs> we got none other than Black Ron on the culture yeah. right here. We got yeah, 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 yeah. finally got Black Ron. Yeah. Be, 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 be. And I don't only yeah. claim you if you do good. Because yeah, I know niggas it. that are oh, from yeah. here that Atlanta be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we don't know That nigga from Kansas. That nigga from Savannah. <laughs> Every nigga came from <laughs> somewhere. Shout out to all the new Braves fans this week, man. We hey. got them. Hey, you better get right. I you yeah. Braves fan right. Used to be cheating, but you already know how Atlanta do in Houston. I ain't going to bring that up. Used to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna open up with the gang banging in the disrespect. Go hey, strong. You know what I'm talking about? Up. Just on some text and shit. But <laughs> Ronnie met me in comedy first, but Tyler been knowing me the longest. Right. Oh Where wow. That's on. what I'm trying to say. Tyler, I met Tyler. What was it? 2013 at Uptown. We was doing comedy though. Yeah, I was okay. doing comedy. Um. Somebody gave me your phone number and told me to holler at you. Mm. For his other consultant Say job, when he used to be a consultant. Yeah, they was like, well, yeah. To, Tyler used to be a vibe consultant. They was like, yeah, when you get there. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need some weed. Tyler going to get you situated. Mm -hmm. Holla at Tyler. That's how I met 90% like of out-of-town comedians that I didn't know or whatever. Like, they would end up with my phone number somehow. I'm like, yo, niggas got to stop this. <laughs> niggas got to <laughs> just gotta stop activity, passing right? my First number. All, like, y'all going to give it to the feds. This, yeah, I'm about to say, this is back when weed wasn't cool, <laughs> nigga. I was no. out here with I was but out here like with an underground with railroad. We call each other like, do you know who happened to have some oh, yeah. weed? Because niggas was not traveling with their weed back That's then. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not even on the Greyhound bus. <laughs> not we even, even on the Greyhound bus. They was coming on the, on the hound with the hound. I'm talking about they getting on the hound with the dogs. With I'm the talking hound. about it, and they going to print you out. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah. So I met Tyler. And what do you mean, Ronnie? 
No, so this is crazy. So I met Tyler. Tyler facilitated my needs and necessary uh, demands <laughs> and then left the fucking club. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Ronnie, I met the next night performing at a whole different fucking club. Mm -hmm. And then the night after that, me and Tyler did a show together the same night. Boom. So it God was like it was the same weekend, but, energy. but because out of comedy, Ronnie met me first. But based off of comedians, wow, needing to look out for each other, it was Tyler. But then this nigga left the entire club. I was like, damn, you gonna leave? Like, yeah, it did in here. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was moving so around. My first back weekend then. at the Uptown. I need everybody. In hey the man, movie. you weren't the only one that needed my services, brother. I was, you know how that shit go. I couldn't. Go up there and tell these jokes. I had to go grab a couple dollars. You feel but me? I had some jokes until the next night. Like That's back when Uptown was a whole different experience, though. Uptown like when the thing. waitresses would be rude as hell. Mm -hmm. But like, <laughs> oh no, I had to come back at midnight, nigga. That's why I left. Oh, oh that's third shift, Tyler. Yeah, okay. 2013. I was. Oh, you had the late yeah, show. I was damn sure. Like, no, Angelo told me I had to be up there like 6:45. <laughs> <type shit, laughs> yeah. Like, Y'all good? I don't know what you did. You done lost that thing. Oh, it's in the ashtray. I'm like, what happened? Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, get Look that motherfucker. Yeah. Hey. Hey. With, the the so <laughs> With the snatch from God. That shit is all right. First with me. try, my boy, up here. Yeah, he going to lay the hoe back down and he going to keep testing <laughs> himself. So let's start off with, with, with comedy, man. You know how we all met or whatever, but start off with how you, you got cracking with the comedy shit, man. What got you into it? Oh, I love telling this story. Because uh, you've been looking like that, I'm sure. I mean, well, you know, all of us were born with the faces that we had. Yeah, that's Do what I'm saying. Do I need to pass like, a mirror around? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying we all started because niggas roasted us. Probably. Oh, yeah. No, that's like, what got me. That's elementary what, school. Man. So, okay. Nine years old, playing a game of indoor baseball at this white school I was going to. You know, mm -hmm. shout out to my parents who put me in private school. Right on. Okay. I go to field to catch, turn around. Run smack dab into a big ass cement pillar, like one of the ones that hold up the whole building type shit. Face oh, first, man. but out, chip my tooth, out of there, out of there. Mm. Permanent disposition at right. nine years old. This is before puberty set in. Hey, parents done spent the money on the school, so they can't fix you. And, and they was, <laughs> at the time, my daddy and them was like, well, let's see how he grow out of it. Let's see how he grow out <laughs> of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, parents will procrastinate on some shit that, that ain't life or death. Yeah. Like, how you grow out your adult teeth? <laughs> I can't. But that was the it's thing. So with. I had already had adult got that teeth. Nine, I had just got my adult teeth. So when I broke the hole, all the nerves were still fresh and shit. So they couldn't mm. do surgery on it and shit. Mm. They had to let the nerves in the tooth die and shit. So anyway. Now, fast forward to 11 years old. Sixth grade. Puberty didn't kicked in. Boom. Start realizing, yeah, I know which girls I like. Mm. And you know, that's when we first find out what a fuck nigga is. <laughs> right about that time. Talk sixth about grade. It. Right about sixth grade. <laughs> Ooh. Because it be a girl that be choosing you. Mm -hmm. She like everything about you. And then some <laughs> fuck nigga from your class <laughs> come highlight one of your shortcomings <laughs> right in front of the bitch. Highlight. He come highlight one of your shortcomings like a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, then they go bitch. walk up and be like, this nigga socks don't match. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got on wear. a footy and a longie. This nigga <laughs> a here. Like, and a longie. I heard a nigga say, you like Ronnie with the slacks? <laughs> 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 with the slacks. So, nigga hated on you real smooth. So y'all remember, y'all remember MASH? The, the TV show? No, the, the, the game. game, the childhood yeah, game where they be like, yeah, yeah. mansion, apartment, shack, a house. Mm -hmm. Then they were like, what kind of job you gonna have? How many kids okay. you gonna have? Yeah, you Who go. your husband gonna be? That was the be first or? social media. It was the first. <laughs> that was hilarious. The, the, uh, gang banging, fortune teller with yeah. the origami. Uh -huh. so, Which turned into slam books in high school. Boom. So this girl found out that she was gonna be in a house with two kids driving a Benz and I was gonna be her husband. And she was like, that's what's up. And right. this nigga was like, you like chip too fast, Rona? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck that guy, man. I'm yeah. talking about- Why he even over here? I'm talking Curly. about early. Y'all remember Indiana Jones with Cub reaching that nigga chest? <laughs> I pulled his whole shit out. Ooh, 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 ooh. He was like, I don't know what she buy. I don't know what she buy. Like, <laughs> I remember feeling <laughs> hot all over my right. head, you know what I'm saying? And, and the whole class, like, 
That ah! bastard. And I'm laughing along with him, like, ah, you crazy. <laughs> oh, you crazy. Why you crazy? Why you wild? Wow, but baby. up until then, I had never felt a need to feel ashamed mm-hmm. for having a chip too. Mm-hmm. Oh, public school will give you some shit. Fifth, sixth grade. No, I, I wouldn't even. In so this fifth grade, I'm still in private school. I'm growing into the sixth grade year, just hit public school. But these are public school niggas who will fight you if they lose the roast. Mm. Mm, that's that era. So then I got good at roasting, much to my chagrin. Now <laughs> niggas want a box. <laughs> chagrin, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So my daddy was like on some, ain't nobody gonna run you home type mm-hmm. shit. You know, I be goddamn, daddy, ain't gonna raise no <laughs> sissy. You know what I'm saying? Mama be like, I'm going up there. Oh yeah, my mom was like, who oh, do we to need to speak with? I'm up at the school in the morning. My daddy like, no, nah, we up at the school at one o'clock in the afternoon. He up at the school in the morning mm-hmm. by his damn self right. with his fist balled up. And it better not be no bitch shit when I come up there to see what had happened. Mm-hmm. Cause my father thing, well, you can take the L as long as you take the L looking at it. Mm, no run, you bro. take the L ain't running no from it, I ain't never gonna save you. Mm. I ain't never gonna have you back. Different type of L. I ain't raising no coward. Mm-hmm. Nigga who ain't found nothing to die for ain't fit to live. Come on, mm. man. And you gonna always die about your respect, which is why I am the way I am now. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I don't give out no disrespect. So I don't take none either. Like. I, I treat me how I treated you. Mm-hmm. So now we get to high school where now niggas is gang banging for real. Niggas is selling dope for real. This Oak Cliff, this Dallas, this where you Oak at? Cliff, Justin Ford, Kimball, high school. We talking about DISD. And people don't know Dallas and Oak Cliff is different. Like Oak Cliff is the hood. Yeah. Yeah, it would get done to you. Um, shot to get done to you. Well, it'll get done to you in the entire. Every rapper that got shot in Dallas Metroplex, this year, Boots but Sims, like, Bitty yeah, Butcher. Oak Cliff is where they shot the first two seasons of First Forty Eight. Like before they went to any other city. That's the test. That's the pilot. first two seasons. The first, <laughs> the first we got enough murders. The first nigga to put his hands in his t shirt was in Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> like when they come on there and be like in Dallas. Yeah. In the Dallas. Three local youths were at a party <laughs> <laughs> when shots rang out. What was your first um, time Oak getting on the mic area. at a comedy club or like trying it somewhere live? 2011. No shit. 2011, after being the bullshit artist that I became to be thanks to high school, mm. I found out roasting <laughs> was my best defense <laughs> mechanism and it got all the attention of the pretty girls. Fact. And once I found out I can get your number by making you laugh, it became something that I was good at from ninth grade till present day. So I was always good at commanding a whole group of attention, you know, thanks to being in church, being active mm-hmm. in all them programs, sure. being a minister from the age of 11 to 22. <laughs> you you, you had your, your first sermon preacher? now. Uh, yeah, I joined. I was ordained at eleven. I preached my first sermon at twelve. What? It was something about your shoe game. Yeah, I was going to talk about he pay the those Selma. Oh yeah, we about about the Texas. You said what? We them Selma. Them Selma. 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 No Selma. And, and I only came on this show to prove that me and Remo was two different people. That's, <laughs> that's it. Ah, that we is have it. Getting a lot of back and forth. That's the funniest but shit. Can I, I, so anyway, so found out I'm good at that shit. My my thing was to come to the barbershop even when I didn't need a haircut and just kick the bobo all goddamn day. Mm. So I'm up there for like four or five hours. And the owner says to me, hey man, you been here like four or five hours. <laughs> I thought he was getting ready to put me out. He was like, but bro, you been having the whole room rocking the whole time. Like the crowd will change. It'll be mm. kids, it'll be women. Sometimes it'll be old folks. You'll curtail your speech and your language to fit the room, but you funny no matter who's sitting in here. Mm-hmm. You ever thought about doing comedy? And I'm like, bro, my whole life people have been telling me I should have been a comedian. You missed your call and you, boy, you need to do stand up. He was like, so what happened? Why you don't do stand up? I was like, I just ain't never had the opportunity to tell jokes. He was like, so if somebody gave you the opportunity, you'd be scared. Mm-hmm. Scared to do what? He was like, to tell jokes. I'm like, Hell no. Nah. He was like, you ever heard of a dude named Shucky Ducky? Quack, quack. I say, hell yeah, I know who Shucky Ducky is. He say, well, look, later on this month, I'm putting on a show in Shucky Ducky headline, and I want you to open it. Wow. So my first time ever touching the mic was at a book show. 
Damn. And I featured for Shucky Ducky. How much time featured? between when he told you and when you had to go up? Oh, two weeks. Did you go up anywhere? No. Wasn't nowhere to go up? No, I, I, I didn't know where to go up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There was plenty of shit going on, but I didn't have no okay, knowledge of it. So How I old were you? I was 25. I was 25. My daughter and my company career are the same age. Come shit. On now. So my baby was born in February 2011. <clears throat> so now I'm just, I'm, I'm aimless. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go back to doing that street shit. I don't want to go back to this dead end corporate job that I'm working, but I got to do something to bring some bread in because I got this whole mouth to feed. Facts. And, and and my relationship with my baby mama is yet crumbling every day. Mm. So then all of a sudden I found this new outlet that's causing me to be gone every night, four to six nights out the week till two o'clock in the morning. What you mean you ain't out fucking hoes? I'm not. I swear to God, <laughs> yes. I have fallen in love with something way right. better than Comedy is a girlfriend, yeah, bro. Yeah. Comedy is a whole white Bitch, I'm out here eating pizza with niggas and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Living my best life. I ain't seen, seen a bitch in two months. You hear me? It be hoes. I'll be like, thank you for coming. Hey, you guys. So, hey, fellas. <laughs> bitch, we are sitting around the table drinking coffee at Waffle House, punching up jokes. That's bitch. it, for man. Real. So, like, I'm finna get on the bus and I'm gonna go to Atlanta. They paying? No. Oh. Well, why you going? Because I need to prove to them niggas at Atlanta that I'm funny. Mm. And then I did the same thing in Memphis and the same thing in Chicago and the same thing in New York. So by the time I got to LA, it was like, okay, now it's time to compete for this HBO shit. Come on. And now I'm fast forward. Now we in 2018. And they passed on my submission tape two years prior. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm sending them quality shit. Like these are great jokes. And they don't like that shit. So when I said fuck it all and sent them just three minutes of me just vibing with the crowd and shit. That's the shit that they loved. They loved it so much that they gave me a first round bye straight into the semifinals. Mm. And I'm like, no, what competition is this? Cause people don't know. I know what you're talking about, but what competition? Oh, this is, is the HBO American Black Film Festival Comedy Win. Come on it's now, that's not nothing to see. 20, 22 not year long running, 23 year long running wow. comedy festival. And so now we get to the semifinals. We in LA. Who's who is there? And like all of y'all know, like you had those moments like where you just you disappear. Like you can't you don't even remember, but you remember everything. It was it was in fast forward and in slow motion at the same time. You was doing everything first person, but you was also like third person viewing yeah. yourself right. from behind yourself, mm-hmm. like watching yourself do you. And like the whole room disappeared, but the whole room was glowing at the same damn time. It's like you, you, everybody was there, but you was all alone. Like one of them transcendental moments. And it was like in that moment, I was like, oh, I won this shit. Mm. And the finals hadn't even happened yet. Mm. Like none of that shit had happened yet. But on stage, I saw myself at the finals winning. That's crazy. So everything else was like, okay, so. I remember getting in a black limo that picked me up. I remember being served fruit my first day. <laughs> Not like, fruit. If all of this shit happens, like how it happened in my dream, I got this shit. Mm. And they had to change the address, so I had to go to my pop's house because that's the address that's on my ID. And rather than come to my house, they was like, we're going to be at this address the next morning to pick you up. So I had to take an Uber <laughs> to my pop's house. Uber to pick me up was great. So I'm like, fuck. But then I get to my daddy's house and it's a black limo waiting on me. Mm. Damn. So That's I'm like, it. oh, okay. That's hard. We get there. The first hotel we had, all the way downstairs, they had this whole spread open for everybody, but all that shit was covered up. It wasn't for us, but they had a premiere of Superfly and shit. And when we got to the premiere, guess what they were serving? Fruit. Fucking fruit. <laughs> Look at God. So I'm like, okay, I got this shit, and it's in the bag. So now I'm nervous, because now it's like the fear of fucking up. Mm. So I go outside to smoke a blunt right before the show to calm my nerves. Just as they say, hey, everybody, let's pick numbers. Let's select. Y'all going to pull straws to see who go when and where. And everybody know the rule of comedy. If you ain't there to pick numbers, when you go? Man. First. Oh, first, yeah. <laughs> 
Y'all Your ass like gonna go niggas. Lucky go number first, one Niggas don't be wanna go first You gonna hit their stage dry I, I love going first So I come back in the room And they like Yeah we pick numbers bro You you first Yeah We already picked I'm like oh y'all know Y'all fucked Too up bad like, for y'all <laughs> Cause that, the whole week I've been Come on guys We all we all friends in this It don't matter like, like, hey, one, three point contest. like we Just the five of us <laughs> Making it to the finals We Which all one of y'all winners. Coming in second You know what I'm saying I come back in the room and they like, yeah, we already went ahead and picked, nigga. And Anybody you going first. And all of a sudden, <laughs> gang, I was like, oh, okay, fuck all y'all then. Fact. They ain't even come get black. Call right the now. person you love the most and tell them, here's where you died. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah. your first joke? Remember the first thing you said? The Joan Team joke. Ooh. Joan Team joke. Off the rip. At the Black Film Festival. Boom. <laughs> you bitches. Joan Team joke. Run the, run the joke. Dot net. He, yeah, got, he yeah. got the joke. Yeah, we'll put it. Like, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Down there, we got a holiday back home called Juneteenth. Anybody familiar? Okay, for those of y'all who are unaware, Juneteenth commemorates June the 19th, 1865. That's the day that the slaves down in Texas finally got the news that we were free. That's right, a whole year and a half after the freedom paperwork had been processed, <laughs> niggas finally got the news that we was free, which is why it bothers me that white folks just gave us the stereotype of being late. I'd be like, uh, <laughs> y'all was first with that late shit, fam. I can be 18 minutes late to work if you can be 18 months late with my freedom. That's an even, that's an even trade off. So, I'm back home, we having a Juneteenth barbecue, and I observed a Negro phenomenon. It dawned on me that black folks, no matter what the occasion, all love to line dance. I'm talking about wedding, graduation, funeral, it don't matter. All we need is a five, six, seven, eight, and we already know what foot to be on. Wasn't no rehearsal beforehand, didn't no email go out or nothing, it's just, it's encoded in our DNA, and that mystified me how all black folks innately, instinctively know how to line dance. Let me ask you something. Uh, when you got the wild and out punch up job, how fa- how much faster did that shit make you writing? Mm. Ooh, it, not faster writing, faster with parting with the joke. Mm. New York got me fast with my writing. Bombing my ass off at Footprints, bombing <laughs> my ass off at Salsa Con Fuego, and half Shout to Rob surviving at Mingles. Like, yeah. and they, it was like, nigga, it's not that you're not funny, it's that you take too long. Yeah. Right. The pace. Mm-hmm. Get right to the joke, nigga. The <laughs> yeah. We want the shit. <laughs> we don't care about interesting, fam. Fuck out of here. Fuck that long ass story, <laughs> B. I mean, this shit is very interesting. No bullshit, but I want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to laugh. I mean, yeah, I mean not only that. As shit is as very soon interesting. As soon as we get through laughing, nigga. Yo, have fruit tray. Get number it. one. I'm not interested in interesting. Yo, he said, yo, he said fruit <laughs> tray. Yo, sneak with the fruit tray over here. Talking about limousine dreams. <laughs> <laughs> limousine dreams. There's somebody in New York watching that first one like, fuck the fruit and shit. Yeah, man, all man, that cantaloupe do. shit, get it out of here. Get to the point where you want to die, my nigga. It ain't oh, feel. This nigga ain't even ate the fruit. It wasn't even for him. It was for soup. <laughs> it was <laughs> super <laughs> fly. I was full of so much adrenaline when I got through my set, bro. I picked the mic stand up. And I spiked that whole day. Shut the your stage. ass up. I swear to God. I was like, that's my time, that's y'all. So like, you know how you turn and get the mic? Like, that's my time, y'all. I'm Black Run. But I picked that hoe up with so much. <laughs> like, I picked that hoe up and I was like, I'm Black Run. <laughs> and the whole fucking building stood up. You put your flag in the ground. Oh, yo. You know what I, mean? I broke the mic stand first. The mic stand was broke for the rest of the show. First. But that night, I broke. Every record, I was the first nigga to get a full house standing ovation mm-hmm. in ABFF history. The first nigga to get a perfect uh, actually score. Actually, it was Marvin Dixon. So. Uh uh-uh. uh. He didn't get a full house standing ovation. Yeah, three niggas that was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> first nigga to get an applause <laughs> break. After, right. oh, first nigga better. to get an applause break after my first joke. <laughs> first right. nigga to get a perfect score from all 11 judges. Mm. First nigga to get a full house standing ovation. First nigga to go first and win. In 20 some years. 
in the 22 year in the then 22 so year what's history the stakes of, of that contest the hbo contest this is like you, you get Dang. in line for That's pilot great. season or you get it? some monies mm -hmm. hbo some break y'all with the nine little fat ass chick mm -hmm. then you get the development deal mm -hmm. then you get to take the meetings with mm -hmm. all the networks and pitch whatever it is that you done created then you get to take meetings with all the major agencies then you get to take meetings with all the major management companies. So you did that. You won the whole shit? I won the whole shit. Mm. That's what's good. That's Finally, what's you got this, son. Huh? No. Interesting story. It was it was interesting. Somebody give me a light up. He let me yeah, smoke. Let my man's lighter so he can I finish his stories better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's only gonna make the story. We get to the point, fam. Right. Right. Can, I, can I? Can I? Can I talk Not about fair. my favorite black rom moment? Because we all have man. black rom moments. Please, Billy's I have one. Billy Sorrell's birthday <laughs> roast during the pandemic. Oh, I hate I missed that. I kind of don't when I looked at all the mouths in the room. Every, it was a lot oh of thoughts in there. One time y'all put a video when y'all was eating. I said, ain't no way. This Nobody called COVID. Yeah, we was at the nah, breakfast. Nah, at the beginning of the pandemic. It just was like a lot going on. Yeah, they on had here. us at another a There was no off. knowledge of it at the time. Yeah, I was over there scared. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, we went in there and nigga, everybody went up. That nigga Ron said, Ron killed the whole room. Like, he should. like to not be killed no more. That yeah. nigga told Bukapone his jacket came with seven <laughs> dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that. <laughs> I that nigga, that. And he did him. He said he came. That bitch, Lord. he said that whole came with a dip, a split, a turn. <laughs> nigga. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I seen that. I think Yo, I seen the clip. Black Ron killed him so bad. Buka Pone was trying to talk to me on in the van on the way back. He's still trying to, <laughs> he's still trying to roll. I said, boo. To get the sauce I over. said, boo, not now. Yo, try to man. get it off. You had your chance <laughs> Game is over, bro. Done. We, we, it's, we off, my nigga. Yeah, no. you got to play tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Gym well, clothes, baby. Yeah, man, it's one zero. I'm not wasting no goddamn shots in the van. I'm sorry, <laughs> you niggas. See, and that was the thing. That whole weekend, it was so fun. But when we went to breakfast, niggas was at breakfast getting them off, shooting mm -hmm. their whole load. And I was like, shit. oh, niggas blowing they whole wide because they were tearing the right. breakfast table up. It ain't gonna hit right second time, nigga. I'm talking about niggas was captains of the lunchroom. Yeah, at the breakfast yeah. club. I'm talking about killing niggas. I'm like, first of all, even if you remember that. It's not gonna hit as hard to say. Right, time. right. That's why I don't be saying shit. I don't talk to comedians at all before the shit. I talk a little bit, but, but you should run it because everybody think you don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the perception of me for real. Yes, you don't make eye contact with people. Really? I, for a because myriad of mean, reasons. You know. For a myriad of reasons. <laughs> I, mean. I do make eye contact, bitch. <laughs> One of them eyes contact. Nigga don't make eyes contact. One of them ain't yeah. fucking with nobody. Eyes contact. Eyes contact. <laughs> Not eyes contact. I people. make eye contact with on damn sure. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna line that left one up on your ass. Both and eyes also, ain't gonna contact you at the same also, time. New comments be trying to look in your soul so you can tell them shit. They be like this, hey. In part nah, with you them, they want you to see their problems and they. You know what? Like, Speaking to my life, trying to deep gaze at me, nigga. I get that. I get that, bro. But you gotta under. I, I mean, oh, pass my man. Where the ashtray go, bro? Ashtray. You gotta understand, like, who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be man. Come like, on, it's, it's a, a new comedian that knows you, heard of you. Everybody's talking about you. All the comics, like, yeah, you gotta <laughs> meet him when they see you. They're like, damn, I just want to say something, but I don't know how to say something. Or I got a joke. How do I do it? Nope, they don't know to just be cool. At this point, it's well, a say grown hi, man I'm, that that grew up on you, bro. He yeah, was literally but, born. Oh, when nigga, he was all the time is a thirty year old nigga, man. We my first time seeing you, I was in college. Like, God damn, this nigga thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I'm two years about older. School than shit. shit. Ain't no goddamn way. Back your ass up, off right. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way you seen that nigga. You running Jordan thirty fifty, bro. Like that nigga. <laughs> he's thirty, but he fifty, my nigga. Like no, he been man, around I fifty you, years. Dog, he only I'm, thirty years old. Shit. I'm so wrecked. That shit still is weird to me. But when that's niggas what I'm saying. Like kids, people, it is younger fucking... comedians are looking at you. They done heard a whole bunch of shit. It's like, like I told you, this. I already, I can remember the first time you was in the club when I was in there. I told you about that shit, nigga. I was nervous. Yeah, that at, shit is uh, crazy. Dude, that's that's I can definitely you remember the first time we did a show together, are. and I was like, "Don't suck, don't suck," because you know when people start speaking highly of you. Mm -hmm. Like I did great my first, I was lucky enough to do great my first three times coming to Atlanta. I didn't do bad until I did Dexter Tucker room one night. <laughs> Bigelow's, yeah, and then Bigelow's I followed it up. Niggas was sending you everywhere. No, okay. and then I First followed it up on, with Stop, stop, room. stop. We got it because we got an audience. They don't know about Bigelow. Hey, what's, what's, what's the average age? What's the average age in Bigelow's? About 
fucking man. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and they like the step. They like the step. Nigga, <laughs> nigga the whole side. club is velour. The it's speakers and draws in there. The, it's a velour spirit in there, and the speakers is brown <laughs> that in that motherfucker. Big, that's on Gresham, right? Right across yes. from that room, Erica Duchess has yeah, right off the freeway. Yeah. As soon as you, yes. you exit, it's about bop. forty-three nugget rings. In that nah, man. Man. I, went, <laughs> shit. I went to Big. I'm sorry, I just got to tell the story because right, I ain't never said it. In there. I, didn't, I went to Big Lows one time with my wife cousin. She came in town. She owed. You know, she, <laughs> <laughs> she was meeting one of her that. little niggas up there. <laughs> she she had met one of her little niggas up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she had a school of sixty-three. It was a senior sneaky link, is what it was. It is. <laughs> that was a, was a rendezvous, link. nigga. What? It is a you. brown sneaky link, nigga. Brown. We meet every day. We and Bigelow's. The same guy. Bigelow's, if, if you if, if you're watching this online, Bigelow's, picture the Harlem Duke and the Five Heartbeats <laughs> when them niggas had that liqueur. So, nigga, we sitting in there, you know what I'm saying, the chilling. <laughs> nigga, I see this woman dancing. On her husband or whoever left, right? Grinding. And it's just like it, it don't look like a regular dancing. You know what I'm saying? So it come out so it look closer. And I'm like, he fingering her. <laughs> 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 So I tell Camilla, I'm like, uh, am I tripping, or is he fingering her right now? He, she was, she looked, she was like, yeah. And then, <laughs> then he like, she like stood up and <laughs> got on her toes. Nah, oh. but like, well, I know that pussy smell can, like ochre, like a motherfucker. <laughs> in, <my, laughs> in my mind, I heard. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Got out of there. Hey, so what happened to Bigelow's, bro? Died, died a horrible death. <laughs> There's a bunch, <laughs> bunch of niggas in there that did not oh, want to give a damn about the comedy show. It was some side of more. I hate performing in front of motorcycle club oh, reunions. Oh, All the vests in the car. Oh, it's a whole bunch of niggas with the same vest on. They don't oh, give a shit. They got loud music coming. Like, you know, the nigga that be jamming Frankie Beverly at the red light. Loud oh, as shit. <laughs> I'm Trimble talking about the only reason why he ain't got prostate cancer is because of the vibration. <laughs> Oh, it shook it the motorcycle. It's then shook it down, down. It's then shook that tumor on down. Shook that tumor off. That <laughs> tumor can't catch. That tumor, 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 tumor can't take hold. I can't grab yeah. this nigga, man. Damn, that nigga stay on the bike. Shaking it loose. Stay on the bike, goddamn. Hell no. But died there. Next night, go do Nora Hostin's room, and Nora was doing this spot where it was bolts. Boats yes, where sir. it was carpet of different varieties from the dough. <laughs> from talking from the time you come in the dough, it's just Man, a bunch of different like, carpets. Like somebody went to the dump. Y'all got one of them down yeah, here. Yeah, the the dump, 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 dump. We got Mario Deluxe. 2,500. Like yeah, somebody bought warehouse all shit. the carpets that they had at the surplus <laughs> flooring warehouse pagoda <laughs> and laid them hoes down up. at boats. They got and skating carpets. I'm sure I did run the niggas off in there. Mm. And the nigga in front of me, like, you ever seen somebody be whack and do well? Yep. Mm. Yes. Damn, you ain't had to do Terrell D. Merrill like that. Yes. <laughs> wow. You did not have to do that on our show. Hell. We don't even do shit like that, Shout right? Shout out to my dog. <laughs> boy, you here on time. Oh, boy. But you explained you you explain him perfectly just now. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this nigga in front of me was that nigga wack loves with that. the wag sauce, boy. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking Man. about. That's what it was? No, it wasn't <laughs> Terrell. <laughs> no, I just joking. No, it, it was like some <laughs> unknown nigga, but he had like one of them old school flows. Like, you would have thought he came out of like the Sherman Golden era. But he was oh like, yeah, he mastered the common view uh, pace of it. The yeah, rhythm. but this nigga, he was hitting him with some bullshit. And then I told that bitch, Black Eyed Peas, bitch. <laughs> Black Eyed Peas in the crowd. Killing. And the, the crowd in that ah! They hitting each other. I'm like, oh, I'm finna go tear this whole murder game. Right. A part. They didn't want no jokes where you gotta think. Mm. Nothing. 
Not at boats. Mm-mm, I hit him with a controversial thinking joke right off the muscle. <laughs> controversial thinking joke. <laughs> controversial and thinking. I'm talking about. Ooh, who's the joke? You gotta think who's about controversial. controversial <laughs> thinking joke. I, I said. You know the joke, nigga. I said, y'all know Jesus' name. Oh man, ain't Jesus right? That's how you started. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Good. That's Larry, the and niggas was like, give it a chance. The pen crazy. <laughs> Off the rip. And I was like, yeah, the letter J wasn't invented until like 500 years ago, bro. So 1,500 years before that, when he was alive, his name couldn't have been Jesus. So every time y'all be like, in Jesus' name, and I'm going to end this prayer and send it to Jesus. Those are letters that are never getting to that nigga's mailbox. I want y'all to know <laughs> the reason why God ain't answering them prayers is because he ain't got now one of them. He ain't got it. And <laughs> niggas was like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga got the booing from their kneecap, nigga. So yeah, it was an old nigga up. in front of me, like, man, get your goddamn ass out of this thing. <laughs> what? That sound like no. That, like <laughs> that was no hard to say. That. And I remember, I remember. Was, was, was Scobo still, still alive? Oh, was still alive? Oh, Scobo was still alive. Okay. I think um, Scobo is the nigga that called Tyler for me. Okay, mm. probably was. Scope Bubba connects everybody. Shout Rest in Bubba. peace, Scope Bubba. Scope Bubba gave me such the pep talk in front of Uptown. Mm. Like, he I came live. up to the side door where Janet Dollar had told me to come in at, uh-huh. and he was like, hey, look, young brother, let me talk to you. And walked me back down the stairs, <laughs> yeah, down the guy, the deck, back around, <laughs> back around to the, the front of the club, the and stood there and, and gave me a talk like, yeah, you can't come to this motherfucking half step. Let me tell you something. This is where niggas come to die and niggas come to rise. Which <laughs> one you come doing here, baby? When you, you make that motherfucking decision, you need to keep your motherfucking show tight. You understand me? Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you that goddamn light one goddamn time. You understand me? As I give you that motherfucker again, goddamn it, cut your motherfucking mic off. You're never playing this motherfucker again. You understand me? <laughs> All right, then, shit, do your goddamn thing, baby. Shit, where you say you from? Dallas, I ain't no funny niggas out of Dallas, man. Fuck what you got going. I'm like, nigga, fuck yeah. this old nigga right here. <laughs> <laughs> fuck everything he got going. And then he'll be doing this, and you'll see them thick ass posturepedic shoes with a suit. If you like, right, oh, that nigga had on a skull. gray pinstripe suit with a purple shirt with a purple and gray polka dot tie, nigga, and mm. a hat to go with it, and the can to go with it. No wonder that nigga was talking to you like the Riddler and started talking <laughs> that pimp shit, and the crowd was eating that shit up. But then I got on stage. That's when I was doing the happy intro with the for oh, real yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. I told Uptown ass apart. Man. After that, he was like, yeah, young nigga, you good. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling everybody you all right and shit. And I yeah. thought he was like, yeah, all right, fuck you, nigga. nigga but then he told everybody. The crazy, <laughs> speaking of niggas doing bullshit before you, when you said that shit, you know I get triggered, but Talk your shit. I did a show in Sandersville, Georgia. Shout out to Al Tillman. He was the first janky promoter. Mm-hmm. The first. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> shit. What's I hear name? nothing. Then what's they bring him up in Tyler Craig Fury? Tyler Craig Fury. I have no then, idea. He then, must have been the worst nigga to bring. He, he was the funeral. worst and best nigga. It's, I don't know how. <laughs> this nigga like Al in here. You don't want to be. Well, you, he, he, he'll, he'll, best he'll, the nigga I have a show for you when you ain't had shit, but you'll get there. It'd be like a cafeteria, but it'll be like Sandersville, Georgia. I did this by Sandersville, and they what had a nigga good? open it, bro. This nigga, it was the nigga was only doing shit from that town. And killing like that gay, he said, like that gay dude at McDonald's. <laughs> Some milk and cookies. That's all he said. Them <laughs> niggas was running around that bitch. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> then he did, he just kept saying milk and cookies. He just started doing the whole Bernie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is running. And then, <laughs> just did Bernie Mac whole shit. He just shit. did Sanders Bernie Mac whole shit. shit. God damn, the Kings Sanders are coming. Yeah, yeah, brought me up. Sanders 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 had no, no, no tapes yet. <laughs> It, man, yeah, the, the Sandersville Blockbuster hadn't got that one yet. <laughs> they didn't give a fuck. They, they had one, nigga. The nigga held it. <laughs> nigga said, I ain't let nobody know. Like, I got you. I got you. Like, 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 the nigga <laughs> nigga got the day that went to the Sandersville. The nigga before that nigga, nigga blackmailed that nigga, bro. Before he said it, the nigga looked at me like, I'm finna fuck your little crowd. The nigga looked at me, some Mick and Kit. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're like, you guys haven't heard that before? <laughs> That's not even his joke, you guys. My right. God. What's going on here? This is not he's, really all guys is cheating. The originality. He is cheating. Like, what the fuck is he's, happening here? He's fucking cheating, guys. No way. No way. What is this? Joke karaoke? I got him because Please someone a, look up. I always you know I always had like some music shit. I always had some music shit oh. immediately or like a music ender or some shit, but 
got through there. It was hard that first ten. <laughs> boy, them niggas. I like, boy, the lady is in here. <laughs> <laughs> So we usually ask, you know, ask people about that uh, their worst bomb. Is that was that one of them, or was that is that the one? The no, one that, that is not my worst bomb. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> because I, I <laughs> boy, everybody came from the past. Right. Everybody came from the past. You were a comedian. You felt that. <laughs> that, that was Bo Cephas. That was Bo Cephas. Well, everybody, about, everybody that do comedy felt that I had a worst bomb about four months ago. Dude. That shit was nigga, good. I went on a bombing spree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about they damn near didn't put me on no fly list, nigga. Like they was like, nigga, this nigga, no fly is a list. known no fly terrorist, list. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga has awoken from a sleeper cell and he is out oh, here, man. stinking it up, nigga. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what happened. Like when I bombed those two nights in Atlanta, I had already established myself as a funny motherfucker. So it was like, it's not you, it's the crowd type right, thing. Right. Like you can take that takeaway away, yes. even though it's always you. Comedians. Nigga, well, listen, man. Comedians. It's it always is you. always yeah, you. Yeah, you can make niggas so listen. It's you, never buddy. the crowd's fault. Never the crowd. And you have a, you have a bomb. And then like two other niggas bone, you feel all right. And then the nigga go up and Smash murder time. that hoe. You be like, <laughs> like wait a minute, oh y'all no, like it was that? me. It was yeah. me. <laughs> Hold on, guys, you haven't heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> nigga could. Like no, nigga go up with his shit, but he nah, just, no, just destroyed it like all a Tony saying Robbins is type nigga. All he's saying is milk and cookies. <laughs> I've never seen Tony Robbins bum. Not that I'm wishing that on him, knock on wood. But Tony like, I, Robbins he's got Robbins a hard style. The hardest room ever. Tony Robbins going that hoe and turning bitch into tissue paper. Yeah, he got a hard style of bomb. I've seen Joe Claire do shit like that. You like, but nigga. I went to New York City for the second time. Okay. Because I had destroyed the first time. It's the mm-hmm. only reason why I would ever go back. Because New York Good is not a hospitable place. place. It stink. It's hard to stay like, As soon as you get off the plane, it stink. Yes. Like, you catch the train like into ass. the boroughs, mm-hmm. it stink. There's a lot of people. Underground a lot of trash, old. really tall, yeah. rats big, people rats rude. Huge. It's over, overcrowded, high. Priced, like it. you know like what I'm saying? It. It's cold. But you them, preaching to the choir right here, my boy. But that them chopped yet. cheese and them bodegas, though. Oh, the chopped cheese and the pizza. Yeah, There's yeah. two reasons why you should always go to New York. That 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 two dollar slice and a bottle of water, mm-hmm. nigga. But Monday yeah, night, I don't think rats be in that. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, nigga, it could have been Man, chopped be rat and cheese, out there, nigga. Rats be big as a bitch. I don't give a damn. As long as they know tail and ears in that hole, I ain't tripping. So. Monday night, <laughs> you know how it is. You get to you get to New York, fly to LaGuardia, go straight into Queens, go straight into Never Harlem. As soon as you get there, it's just now seven o'clock. Go straight to Smokey Suarez's room. Go ahead and get the rust off from the trip. Is that mahogany or what's mocha. That? mocha? Go to Mocha Lounge. It's like a living room. Ain't no bigger well, than this. It looks big as shit on Instagram. He be like, "This shit look big." Whoever shoot that shit, shoot for apartment complexes. Yeah, they know what they do. In the room, angles. nigga, nigga, that, nah. it's, it's a bar, bro. Yeah. But like, they it's the one of the coldest Monday night rooms. So mm. I do that whole Smokey, like we going to Freddie Rick shit. I'm like, hell yeah, I've been wanting to do Freddie Rick shit. Freddie Rick had already saw me perform once before and invited me. He was like, "I'm gonna call him and tell him we coming. I'm gonna, he, I'm gonna make you headline." Mm. This Smokey. Yep. Freddie Rick's like, yeah, bring him on. We go to Flatbush, Brooklyn, nigga. Footprints with home of the roster pasta. Mm-hmm. I go in that hole. It is 45. Caribbeans, they don't give a shit about your <laughs> whole life, nigga. They got they they are on the stage with you. Yeah. There ain't no stage. The stage is just the birthday party section. Of the restaurant, it's like a booth know, with a little, table that down, right? Step up, you know. What I I'm never saying? did that because I didn't think it would hold me. I was like, okay, yeah. okay, I'm gonna do that one. No, you you're talking about Ray Dijon shit. Oh, okay, cool. So Monday night, footprints bomb horribly. Mm. So oh. much so I didn't even feel right taking the food <laughs> and the money. Like I was like, I need this hundred and this plate. Hell yeah, right. But niggas probably do that all the time in there. Oh, but Smokey wasn't done. Mm. He was like, let's go get a little bit more of that bomb up at you. <laughs> <laughs> since, we in Queen, since we in Brooklyn, let's shoot back over to Queens. Let's go to Island Taste. That's Joe's showroom. Shout out to Joe's show. And in there are 40 more, even <laughs> more aggressive, <laughs> even Just more disinterested room, Caribbeans. And that, the hipsters. The hipsters is in there too. 
bunch of cool ass niggas yeah. who, that are flirting with bitches and flirting ain't no stage in there. You nope. just up against the wall in between the, the bar, speakers shit. and a nigga came and stood next to the table and chopped the bitch down in the middle of my set <laughs> and he was so big and so Jamaican I let him mack that bitch down during my whole set. Yeah, yeah. I scooted over a little bit like yeah, <laughs> this time. is part of the stage. Let me get close out here. <laughs> you ever feel the room not fucking with you? Yes. So you started talking louder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to do something. I have to do something. <laughs> I'm talking louder. These niggas start ignoring me harder. Like, yeah, so the other day I was saying, <laughs> the big tent in here were nice, but you could tell that Edgar was not frying them. They know not crispy like they normally be. Bro, you can't out loud no Jamaican talking, bro. Nigga, like with the passion and shit. Bro. I I get Crazy. to screaming on the mic. Over with. Nigga stand up and say, "Come down. <laughs> you not need be so loud." And I was like, "I do need be so loud, nigga. Y'all niggas are crushing my soul. I do need be so loud." <laughs> That's the T-shirt. So instead of giving me the light. The DJ gave me the hookah zooka and I was bastard. Oh, oh. You bastard. Damn. That mean it ain't even time to go, but right. it's time Zuka. to go. I had to step yeah. it up on you. Jeez, the Damn. hookah. hookah. Cold part was that room didn't pay number $25. I go outside, Marshall Brandon, Mike, Brooklyn Mike and them out there. I watch Marshall Brandon get up on stage behind me and destroy. Island taste. I watch Brooklyn Mike get up behind him and murder. Brooklyn I'm outside debating whether or not I still want to do comedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these niggas come outside like, hey, Texas, your shit was funny, nigga. But wasn't nobody fucking with that big ass coat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and niggas got the roasting the shit out of me, bro. Oh, no, not after I'm like, y'all ain't even gonna let me shield. Let, let, let me have my bomb. Let me have my bomb to myself. And then it's like, oh no. And and you, you got to come over no here. You can't even get away. And right, you don't niggas. want to take off the coat because that's Shout the only out to coat uh, you got. Marshall Brandon, man. Me and Tyler was on the road doing a college and we slid up there to Connecticut to oh, do yeah. a spot he had with all killers in that bitch. It was some motherfucking murderers in the house. New huh? Haven. In New Haven? Yes, sir. Oh, I already it was know. Murderers that shit was like when DMX hills. shot his first video, nigga. That yeah. nigga was tunnel, nigga. <laughs> I ain't never seen I had the time of my ready. life in that bitch. That nigga Tyler was that bitch. I was ready to go. I was, that I'm nigga look like shit, FOI. So many Jamaicans in Connecticut. <laughs> One would never fun, know. Man. They don't never <laughs> show Jamaicans <laughs> when they show Connecticut on TV. But Marshall will have you at a warehouse in a back parking lot somewhere, and it'd be full when you get be like, it's six cars outside, my nigga. What the fuck? Together. You really think you're being set up? Like, man, they're gonna, gonna, gonna rob the shit out of me. <laughs> take me around back and take all my little $20. Man, that nigga had the liveest room and it was the club after that. So they was fucking with the comedy and yeah. they was fucking with. I had a time in my life. Man, that, that shit man. was fun as hell, that bro. That shit was scary as fuck. Run through bombing that week in New York. You had some both? Oh, man. I just want you to give one. Give me some both. No, let's keep Very it going. Next night. Tuesday, Very slide up to night. the Bronx. Mm -hmm. I got a chip on my motherfucking shoulder. I'm Tonight's my I night. Right. Me. God I won't do me like tree that. Tree limb on my shoulder. Oh, you come on now. And I pull up to Salsa Con Fuego. Shout out to Rob Stapleton. That shit big as a fuck. Shout out to my nigga Rob Stapleton. There are 700 people in the building. <laughs> what yeah. in the hell? And that is no exaggeration. And they are ready to salsa con fuego. And niggas are there for birthday parties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they are ready to man. salsa con fuego. Niggas, it's salsa. With, with fire, fire <laughs> they are ready for and the real fire. Salsa con fuego con comedy, nigga. <laughs> oh, comedy. Salsa con fuego, nigga. They are ready for the DJ. They about to sweat tonight. You got a hundred dollar bill, but yeah, that's an unbutton your shirt type of thing. They take turns bringing the birthday cake out with the sparklers and shit. It's 12 different birthday parties going. It's like, why Niggas are we doing love crab ordering crab legs for some reason. <laughs> and that whole come on a Feast of Leonidas style platter <laughs> and shit like with, with, with palm fronds oh, hanging off the edges yes, and sir. shit. And they sit it down in the <laughs> middle of the table and everybody keep ordering big ass chocolate cakes, the whole cake. Like it's a big ass thing. <laughs> and Rob Stapleton why is hosting so this mother. Why are there what so many? It's like, how can you do uh, comedy, bro? It's, 
It's Wait, like I, with adult boys, like where they take their baby mamas, like, bro, you know what I'm like, saying? Uh, like, it's a prom. It's like drug dealer prom in that bitch. Yeah. Like, we when, when, when niggas get out the penitentiary, he still got a little money left. That's where they throw his welcome home party okay. type shit. Right. Or a nigga finna go to prison and it's his oh, last wait. free weekend. Oh. They throw in his farewell party. That's where I met DJ Cool Herc. In mm. awesome. Rob Saber's room. In Salsa Con Fuego. Hey, who was on the show though? Because he he has big bills. His shit be this nigga had Capone. Okay, killer. This nigga had I almost said Jonathan Leguizamo. <laughs> Not him, but uh Corey Fernandez. Corey fucking Fernandez, same head. Stupid. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Corey Fernandez, that's my nigga, man. Corey Fernandez, Mimi Simpson. Be me a beast in there, boy. And Capone was headline. Good show. Bro, he got me like right after Mimi. Mm. She flipped it too. Oh, she got down because she did a whole bunch. Of, you know, these niggas ain't shit. And mm-hmm. dicks be this big, but niggas be, and, and she killing it. And then Rob get up there. He robbed Stapleton in the whole mm-hmm. fucking room. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, hey, coming up, my little brother from Texas, man. First time in New York. It wasn't. It was my second time in New York. But <laughs> it was like it was my first time doing this room. And plus, I got the chip on my fucking shoulder. Right. It don't even matter what days. it's about. Right. It don't even matter. I'm finna kill this shit. I go on stage, nigga. And for my first three minutes, I'm doing well. But then I decide I'm going to tell one of my story jokes. And, and niggas was like, yeah, so. <laughs> hey, yo, Rob. <laughs> yo. Yeah. <laughs> So with them cakes. <laughs> Yo, your man's just mumbling, son. What's going on? <laughs> Bro, I start, it was like a Spike Lee. Like, all of a sudden, the room start getting way yeah. far back, nigga. <laughs> and I'm like, who is happening again? <laughs> <laughs> that chip was like, hey, nigga. <laughs> Are you ready to bomb? That chip planted roots in my shoulder and a big old bomb tree grew out. <laughs> One just dropped. Bomb me, tree. Nigga. You, you bombed in the boom boom room, I nigga? I bombed in Salsa <laughs> Con Fuego, bro, but I would not be denied. I'm like, no. Nah. So I'm telling my jokes, but here's the thing. I'm uh-huh. killing this front row right here. But it don't matter. It's 700 people in this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Killing 22 That's a field niggas. Goal win, bro. Yeah. Killing field 22 goal niggas win. is not no field goal. It's a field goal. 700. That's a safety. That's a safety. That's <laughs> two points for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> that just shows you was trying. Yeah, yeah that was like, you didn't even you get just out your end zone. Nigga put his name on the SAT. Progress <laughs> and get one right answer. Somebody still on the ball. Oh, hey, my shit. last bomb. I knew I bombed when the nigga mama said, I liked you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, God damn. my last bomb of the bombing spree. Uh, wow. This is the this is four so number four. I do well Wednesday and Thursday and some nondescript. Okay, answers. you was COVID. So it wasn't day, you wasn't in point, the row. At this point, you I'm got doing old jokes that I know gonna bang. And you had shit. to get I'm, that shit off you. I go to Friday night. Talent got a room. Smokey Suarez hosting it. Shout out to Talent bro. mingles. Also in the fucking Bronx. And again, I see a nigga get up there with the one, two, Skippy, my dude, and he kidding him. Haitian mm. sound like this. Oh, why you, why you? And Jamaicans be like, oh, Lord, I'm mercy. Yeah. And then the Trinidadians be like, hey, we're going to go. And I be like, this yep. shit is working. And he is murdering the fucking room. New York, that goes. I hate when you see seven niggas be there. Y'all remember the dollar van? I'd be like, what the fuck is a dollar van? (laughs) Y'all remember going to get some pussy in OJ? (laughs) It's like, what is that? (laughs) Shit. Bro, I don't even know what jokes I told. I just know that they wasn't doing nothing off of me. What got it off you? Did you get could you come out of that week with any any goddamn kills? So that night is the night when a nigga confided in me that, bro, it's not that you're not funny. It's that goddamn jacket. <laughs> no, I stopped wearing the jacket. He threw the jacket. I see you been wearing the jacket. I went on Canal Street and bought me a New York jacket. Okay, got your New York jacket. Nigga was roasting the jacket, and the jacket wasn't even working that well. Like, it was the biggest jacket I had. But you were still and cold as fuck. But it wasn't right. Let me tell you, when you go to Chicago, buy a coat in Chicago. When you go to New York, buy a coat in New York. Go to Detroit, buy a coat in Detroit. Because the cold there... They make clothes for there, mm. nigga. You can't take your clothes from somewhere else. Yeah. The wind is The different. insides is different on yeah, these coats. Yeah, the line. So in New York, you need a whole lot of puff. Mm-hmm. In Chicago, you need a whole lot of thick leather layers that can block that wind. 
New York got that chill that's going to get next to the draws. Like, <laughs> and it's just cold. <laughs> and they don't give a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. But wouldn't Shut- he say that was keeping you from glory? <laughs> he said I was taking uh, my, my pace. New York is a more popcorn pace. Fast, go fast. So I was in New York for two weeks. The next week I went back and did every fucking spot except salsa. Where I was like, I can't book you back that fast. Mm. But I did every spot that I bombed at, murdered every motherfucking come spot. On, come Cause on, all I did was tell all my jokes in double time. Mm-hmm. Stepped up the pace. With the pace. Cut the middle out of the joke, tell them the premise, and then tell them the punchline. And niggas was in this whole like, oh, Texas is funny. Mm-hmm. And then once I got their trust, when it did Ray Dijon spot, that's where you talk about where the stage is off the side right. of the booth, you're off inside mm-hmm. the back of a diner and laugh for Holics. That should be getting millions of views on, on YouTube. Oh, yeah. And I went up there like, okay, I know what New York like now. Boom, 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 boom. Disrespect this nigga here for no reason at all. <laughs> yeah. Call this woman a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like in New York, that shit is funny. Yeah, like right. down here, that shit'll get you beat the fuck up right. by her and then her nigga. Yeah. But like, right, you be like, ooh, bitch, what y'all eating? Crab leg, bitch. You look like you would like to eat crab legs, bitch. <laughs> what you celebrating, bitch? You finally off the antibiotics? And then, like the whole oh, room is like, is. this nigga is amazing. Ah, right. And then you be like, hey man, let me tell y'all what happened to me today and when you say it like that niggas is like he got a story mm-hmm. but even good. then you got to and that's why i wrote my spirit airlines bit that's where i fleshed out all of my bits and found like oh you don't have to trim them when you trim the fat sometimes it's good jokes in the fat sometimes you gotta trim some meat pause you got to take some of the shit that you thought was the building blocks of your joke out that motherfucker mm, let's go with and the let ceiling. the crowd tell you what's funny. Mm. They'll let you know where the laugh breaks are in your joke when you're building a story. When you're building a story, it's just basically you stacking this joke on top of that joke on top of that joke on top of that joke. Now that's a bit. Boom. Squeeze these four bits together into one premise all together mm. and make the end of the joke tie in with that first part that you told, be it a callback or be it a resolution or be it like you're giving a, a speech and that's just the end of your dissertation. Now you've reached the, the conclusion of your point, of your thesis. Let it be that. But in each point, there's going to be little nuggets that the crowd can bite on and laugh on. Mm-hmm. You don't know which part is their favorite part. Case in point, Kevin Hart did it on Laugh in My Pain. Mm. He's telling the whole story about how my daddy is a dope fiend. The part everybody ran away with was, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> He's talking about a fucking spelling bee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a callback that was the re- the repeat thing. It's like a hook in a song. Mm-hmm. That's the part that they gravitated the candy. to. That was mm-hmm. the cadence that they gravitated to. But he's talking about my daddy was walking around my school with loose pants on, meat going <laughs> everywhere and shit. Yeah. But it's the cadence that everybody remembers and shit. So that's what I study when I, not necessarily how to tell a joke like Kevin, but if you watch any of the greats and you watch their third piece and then their fourth piece, if they blessed to have one, that's they golden out. That's when they doing they motherfucking thing. And watch how they build jokes. Watch how they tell stories. Watch how they slow down. Because they ain't got no point to prove no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You watch a nigga's first TV appearance, Going oh, he crazy. giving you a hundred of them hoes in five minutes. <laughs> so you know, know who you fucking with. Watch Dave Chappelle Def Jam versus Killing Them Softly. Yeah, the yeah. number of joke, the number of actual jokes. He ain't tell but five jokes. But you one of them people who kind of, you one of them people who done increase. Like everybody in this room, pretty much done increase their value. Going even from Goldie to fucking Ferg, just during the pandemic, those eighteen months, niggas have really locked in and found who fucking with them. And the reason I talked about that because um, you, we just all did keep your distance. Shout out to Kamal. He just yes. filmed yes. his yes. first keep your distance. Rip that bitch. When I say Kamal went up first and <laughs> put the goddamn thing on him, he slammed the fucking mic Slam stand the mic in the goddamn hey. thing, bro. Thank y'all and good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about when, when I tell you 14 niggas straight laughing, like my face hurting. That's 
Tyler. And, we, and we wasn't hoeing each other. Them wasn't TV labs we mm-hmm. was giving each other, bro. We was genuinely laughing for one another, bro. Yeah, real yeah, shit. Yeah, you had one yes, of the most sir. one of the memorables. Like Tyler destroyed that motherfucker. Give it up for Tyler, goddamn yes, it. Tore that motherfucker down. Well, I tell you, I was laughing so hard at fucking Ryan. <laughs> shut your fat, shut your fat ass. Shut your fat ass up, fat boy. This ain't your march. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the gay bars. They, they, y'all see that, bro? Don't give it to don't, him. Yeah, don't don't yeah, man. Don't shit. Just wait till y'all see that. Oh shit, bro, that's got to be a t-shirt. I'm mean, at the level. That, I, man, doing comedy so long, I promise you, I don't be knowing what the fuck I'm gonna say. Like, I'll be like, bro, I don't know what it is, but I'll be ready. It'll be shit in my brain, but I'm like, I don't know. All right, all right. When the light hit, bye. It can't be beginner's luck. What you it's about? gotta be the fact that you one of them niggas that just hung around the weight room so much that you just woke up strong one day. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking perfect. A, no, he was lifting though. He was in like, that yeah. workout. He in lifting. All he was doing was putting the weights back. He yeah. was cleaning up the weight room. No, I got you. Don't worry and about it. This nigga fucked around and, and woke up strong. <laughs> it's like the nigga who swept the barbershop and woke up knowing how to cut hair one day, mm-hmm. and he just fly as fuck because he just by osmosis, bro. I've watched you do yo. Uh, open mic shit that you'll put on social media on your own but I was watching not necessarily to see you fail because I wouldn't wish that on nobody but I was like okay now this is a real fight Facts. he did real good in the gym he did real good in them amateurs but this other nigga that he about to get in front of really want to hurt him what the fuck is he finna do do he have that killer edge to be a fucking champ and Boy, you got what it takes. Yeah, for sure. Yes, From all yes, the beasts, buddy. Yes, got, and it's all yes, star. We was all sure. killers. It was the expendables out there. It was nah, nothing facts, but nigga niggas drooling, as, ready Kobe to go Bryan up. Kobe in the all star game as a rookie, bro, and, and went tween, tween, right. dunk on Jordan, <laughs> nigga. Like, for sure. Niggas was like, yo, it's my guy. <laughs> I don't want to give it I away because I want the n- crowd to go n- buy n- the yeah, tickets. Nah, that's facts, man. I ain't going to front. Like, I felt it was moments. I told Fur, I didn't. Didn't feel like I belong. You know what I'm saying? It was like these is heavy hitters. You know what I'm saying? Niggas with real comedy history, real credits and shit. And like, nigga, I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, so it was like, bro. fuck it. You know what I mean? Yes, so, sir. To me, I look at it like you me though. I'm like, this nigga is us. Like this nigga. This, we made like, this nigga from scratch. <laughs> like, <it was> like, <laughs> Like, hey, we made a whole Frankenstein. animal from the fucking son, my nigga. This nigga mm-hmm. like the Frankenstein, nigga. Right, man, we just, <laughs> yeah, like, just in time to get just enough training to register for the karate tournament. <laughs> <laughs> if Daniel would have been Mister Miyagi two weeks later, he wouldn't have had enough. He, he would have had, had to wait a whole nother year. He would have been way more colder. Mm-hmm. He would have yeah. barely lost. Remember, he barely lost in the first karate right. kid. But like nigga, you you damn your son, bro. Like you fucked around and, and I appreciate it, bro. ran into Splinter <laughs> <laughs> and Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> and, and screw face from Hard to Kill. <laughs> Everybody them one heaven, <laughs> but them not one dead. No, Remo more like Mad Max from Shot to Us. <laughs> yes, nigga, win, that's so funny. Win. Talk win, to me, win. <laughs> no, why they left it? What? <laughs> Let me tell you when I got scared because he was taking a tally and it was like 23, 24, 25, 26. And then he laughed and moved his arm out the way and it was a one in front of the 26. I was like, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, well, he was counting his body. Yeah, yeah. 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 there's too many, Max. And he had the same haircut, Rebo. He had the braids with the fade on the side. Max. But nah, yeah, that shit was. Amazing. And Remo got on the last time. Remo just went to go Shut and up. then Yo, shout out to Kev on stage. <laughs> man, shout one time to that man. Just go hundred yeah. percent corporate. But he literally is like, Yo, I am doing this for black people. Facts. He's it's for black people. Stands on us. Yes. You know, I don't yes. put nothing past nobody, but Kev is the first nigga that I'll uh uh-uh. uh. When the scandal, if, if a scandal should drop, like oh, they said, yeah. Kev on stage, I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. not Kev, no, 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 no. goddamn no. lie. He no. got to have okay. something weird though. Like he bite his toenails. Yeah, he too good of a nigga. Like, yeah. Well, I saw, I saw him in the great. back with a yeah. magnifying glass over Ant Bed. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
He like to kill animals. He like to kill animals. Ants. Ants. He just like to kill ants. Insect murderer. So you come back <laughs> like, yeah, y'all know Kevin was saying he like to sit in the bed and chew his toenails. He was like, I knew it. I knew it. It was like, it's only fire ants. He's like, they're sinners. They're sinners. They're sinners. When you told Spencer Neal that he had a belly full of boogers, nigga, first of all, do you know how many boogers you got to eat to fill your belly? Hey, comedians are crazy, bro. Niggas, you do something or say something or post something, nigga hit you out of nowhere just with like that joke. Like, K-Dub hit me the same as eight, bro. You said the nigga got a doggy style haircut? Oh, yeah. No, no. Out of nowhere, bro. No, you said... That's why you like your hugs from the back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Say. Yeah, you roasted it's the real, fuck, man. Shout out to All Deaf, too, man. Yeah, Can I tell sir. you the greatest Tyler roast of all time? Oh, no. What's up? But he gave it to a Marlon Wayans. Oh. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> told Nick Cannon. He looked like he get on the couch knees first. And that nigga <laughs> did it. That nigga did it. Oh. And nigga went and did that, that nigga shit. nigga did that shit. He was like, yo, man, I need something. He, You know what? When Marlon Wayans came there, we was writing for him that time. He he was tired as hell. He's like, man, I was spending makeup and shit for like sixteen hour, you know, sixteen hours and all that shit. And I'm just tired. Give me something. So I gave it to him. And then it came to realize later on during the pandemic, actually, that the shit that he was dressing up for was that shit on Netflix when he was playing like oh, the six, six, uh, six or something different. Six, six characters. Yeah. Like, six boy. That's crazy. So you know exactly what I'm talking about, Ronnie. You do too from writing on Wild and Now. Yes, I almost Probably got fired a it. lot. Shit, these niggas was there too. Yeah, Remo, yeah, Remo was definitely there. The yeah. lady kept calling him, uh, uh, what was she calling you? What the wrong name? name. She was calling him Rody or. Rody? Might have been his nickname. <laughs> Remo might have fucked around. Right. Got a nickname. Remo gave us a nickname. My name is Roadster. <laughs> <laughs> <Name's> Roadster. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen Roger, Roddy? but you could call me Bobby Rody. Bobby was still looking for him in Bobby's house. Have y'all seen Romy? As a writer, as a comic, like we all got that competitive edge to be the best. If you don't, you don't deserve to be in my friend group. If you don't think you one of the best niggas to ever do this shit, quit. Mm-hmm. And, and quit soon so we can get them bookings that you have. <laughs> right. You in the way. You, know you are in the way. In the fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Need that bread. Doing that show. You first learn how to give your babies away. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> so yes. then they tell you, we need a hundred of your babies. <laughs> Congratulations on being on this show. The reason why you on this show is because everything we've ever heard you say was funny as fuck. We heard 12 of your babies and they were all beautiful. <laughs> you got the writing job. First task. We need a hundred babies just like them 12 tomorrow. And niggas and you they, give them to is they first time babysit. Boy. And they all <laughs> and they all they all gotta be beautiful. And we're gonna give them to niggas that are blindfolded <laughs> in a room full of sharp corners. <laughs> with your babies. And we're gonna tell them to run full speed <laughs> to the end. With your baby. And they've never held a baby before, by the way. <laughs> not it's, never. It's not in front like of all these people. Your joke not work. And mm. the nigga did it wrong. Like you'd be like, mm. like, like I said, lean into it, nigga. Like, like I said, Remo done been. I done seen Remo practice a joke with a nigga for a full day. He can go out there and do that shit backwards, bro. <laughs> I said, boy, hey, Remo hate you, bro. Bruh. You, like, you tell me in a hundred jokes, <laughs> and they be like, Quell a fit, Quell a fit. Oh my God! <laughs> Never mind the fact that it took you a year to come up with the twelve that they heard. Right, but you turn in a hundred of them, and they got in and the they time fire. that they asked you to, and they all fire. And they be like, "Oh yeah, cool," and sit them on the them side the and take a hundred from you, and a hundred from you, and a hundred from you, and oh, they take them baby. all up to the people that's gonna use them, and a the nigga might use four of them. Yeah, and they throw. 396 babies away. And you can't return them motherfuckers in. They reading them. They oh, no. Like, no. We saw no. that already. Yeah, no. this is the same baby face. Uh, no. Yeah. We, we want new babies every week, nigga. The baby we got need. a mole on it. <laughs> they, you might be the gave a nigga four babies that was all gold. Mm, and right. then the, the, the lawyers come back and say, you can't say nothing about that. God yeah, damn man. It. People don't understand that shit. Was, that shit is a lot. It's a lot. I was like a lot. And him not on the show. Tyler was the only one of us that was on in front of the fucking camera. And nigga, Tyler so was doing a lot. Show. So this, this is this is what I take from it. 
It's like you get a job fucking, right? You think you got a job <laughs> fucking. You, somebody hire you like, yo, you just going to get pussy every day. You just got to be ready to fuck. Then when you get there, you just jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> no. When you get there, it's, when you get there, it's a glory hole at a senior citizen center. <laughs> you don't know who citizen. pulling on your dick. You don't know who it is. Ah, they just milking you. Don't none of this coochie feel good. <laughs> and you hope that's coochie. <laughs> and, you, and there's a whole lot of people in here. And then you find yourself just trying to make it to the weed tent. Yeah. <laughs> I just need the weed tent, bro. Now you mad at yourself for not nothing yet. <laughs> All this build up. Me, me hard out of frustration. I shouldn't even be When's it going to be over? Man, come on Sunday. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, please get here Sunday. Oh, yeah, man. man. By the time Wild Night is over, you feel like you went through boot camp, but you feel so much better like mm-hmm. as a comic, like being in them road circles, being in them freestyle circles, mm-hmm. being in them the games. Nigga, like, and people be like, "So y'all right for the show?" Then that mean that the show ain't real? No, that's oh, not real, exa- That show is very much so real. Them niggas are very much so doing their own thing. But here's the thing: they shooting that shit for two hours, and, and nigga might bust out laughing. They be like, "And cut, and do that again." But now we need to do it this for angle. these cameras right. up here. So now they got to come with a whole different motherfucking joke and recreate magic all over again, and with a real audience. They can't fake that laugh. Mm-hmm. So you got to have new shit fresh, already ready, already. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> might be real good with that first clip, but one of them niggas might not die. It's really nice shooting. to have another clip already loaded rather already. than trying to one at a time them hoes while the monster coming at you. Yeah, yeah. But that shit do get you sharp. Like it, it automatically triggers you to think of a joke when you hear some shit. Like right. when, when you in that wilding out mode, it's just like, okay, I heard that. Let me make a joke. Or somebody say something about you, you got something to say immediately. It's like you're not even, you don't even think. Like the roast just comes out. You know, you even have to put that, that shit That shit together. backfire on you because then you think like that in the most inopportune places in yes. the wrong goddamn environment. Yeah, you shit. can't go from wild out to something else immediately. Oh, that's my favorite time. Like I went from wilding out to, straight from wilding out to the hip hop awards. They I was like, hey man, you are going crazy in here. <laughs> I went, man, I had wrote like a whole dissertation on Kevin Samuels just in case they wanted to shit. Just in case. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, know, I know y'all okay. I don't, I don't know, know the points. I don't know, I know if y'all gonna do no Kevin Samuels I segment see, I or not. But I got five pages. <laughs> but just the I was like, did go someone mention Kevin Samuels in the Zoom? I don't think we missed a guy with Just in case y'all wanted it. That's hilarious. And then Tyler got Atheon on the FaceTime and it was. Yeah, I'll call you back. That's, yeah they, they, don't, they don't really like Afian, but I'm, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could, could we still like like real like talk? Afian. No, 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 they like him. I was just saying they ain't like the Devin Samuels idea I had. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Yeah. <laughs> I think I sent him too many pages. <laughs> you sent him a long ass text message. Hey, speaking of uh, uh, comedy, how was uh, G Ho, man? Like, people want to know what we're doing on the weekend, and I seen, the, you know, uh, everybody know uh, uh, North Carolina AT, shout out to all the Aggies. Yeah. G Ho, greatest homecoming on earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Darren Brand, Tyler Chronicles, yeah. Burpee, uh, uh, yeah. Osama, Osama been drinking. Been drinking. Yeah. I saw the pictures. I saw the show. We, me and Ferg was gonna drive that bitch anyway if I hadn't got that special. I know it, man. We was gonna come. I was. I was, I was gonna pull up. Man, that's what we gotta talk about real quick. Jiho was was super dope. You know, it was the first time back since COVID. So you know what I mean. Every, a lot of stuff was shut down. People came out to the comedy show, even though you had to be vaccinated or have a negative COVID test. People still came out, packed that thing out, yes, sir. and it was really, really fun. I had a good time. I got to dress up that night. You know hey. what I mean? Oh, yeah, you know, that shit on. BMF jacket, you feel hey. me? Yes, sir. <laughs> he put that shit on more than coaches. Hey, that was funny. Put your black I did. I put, boots it up, on. put my black rhyme. Ah. Well, I had on some loafers, though. Okay. I didn't have on boots. You had the little slides on. You, you know had the mean? goddamn right foot yeah, up. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Nick Cannon's. The, the, no, the no socks. I had on socks. Oh, okay. Cold as shit. <laughs> so, Brett, you at yes, simultaneously. Bro. We're filming your special. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was special. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody who ever got them clicked on anything, ever, ever got them fuck with more than culture. Any, anybody remember the fat nigga that do this shit? This shit feel good, man. I ain't know how I felt, but I was just real, a lot of gratitude because it's like the tribe, we did our thing. We decided to come together and fucking work until something popped and then everything started popping. So, mm-hmm. um, Epics called me and was like, you got an hour? I was like, 
do an hour. hour. <laughs> you know, we was in the house for you. How many? How, how, how many? You, how many you need? Know, man, come on. That's why I told him. I called Brian today. I said, I got nothing if you want. Yeah, man. I don't know if y'all got one of the microphones over there. I looked up. It was forty minutes. Some batteries in it. I looked up. It was forty minutes, and I hadn't even done the six hundred pound life joke. I was like, Oh shit, let me do that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out to that shit. Felt good, man. It was the best situation. It was a small room. Um, I was the last person to film. I probably I probably was the last person picked, but I don't give a fuck. I've never been the first nigga picked on nothing I've been on. Don't and then when me. I when you cut that shit on, I but I'm gonna goddamn up. show up, see what happened. Right, and I had to first. Yeah, shout out to Ferg, shout out to Black Run, goddamn, he was in the trailer. Kamal got quarantined on set. It's crazy. This nigga <laughs> went over there and said, I ain't vaxxed. They were like, not vax, not vax, not vax. Yeah, they told me by the time I got there, they was like, Yeah, Black Run, you're not gonna be able to go in. I was like, Why not? Because you're not vax. I was like, who told they, you? Damn. Who told you that? They saw yeah, them beads, them necklaces, nigga. They was like, I know you ain't, <laughs> like, nigga. You got too much copper. I was like, yeah, no, they saw, I got, they I He had it. that medallion on. Right. They, they like, oh, nah, this no. nigga got a cookie on his neck. <laughs> I tried you know to what? lie. <laughs> I tried to lie. I said, no, I got mine. Two Modernas. They was like, where your card? I was like, I don't bring the card out because I don't want to lose it. They was like, well, show us the email that the state Hilarious. sent you. Yeah, the state the sent you with the number. The state didn't have my email. They had my Yeah, but shout out to, it's on the email. I forgot the password. It's going to be on Epic's network. Y'all can download. It's the same yeah. network that Godfather Harlem comes on. Yes, Clay sir. English did season two yes, sir. Unprotected yes, sir. Sets. And the thing about this I show is How about I say Black, yeah, Black Ron, Ron did a dope ass episode. The, the, the people we when you see their names, click on the shit, man. We need mm-hmm. them views. It's so on the Epics app or it's on the Epics it on app. The channel. Okay. It's on the channel, it's on the app. But um why the why the site come that show. Fucking awesome. And, uh, but I remember Those but sites. I was on all the calls. When they were trying to cast it and see where the shoot last season, because he was Eric, shot to Eric Abrams, who was the director, and he did laugh tracks and stuff. Mm-hmm. But he was trying to get me on other shit just because of laugh tracks. He's like, yo, yo, every time I have a chance, man, I say your name. I'm yeah. like, thank you. But he was like, people got to see. I was like, well, thank you. Did laugh you. tracks as well, man. How was yeah, that? Yeah, I, I did. That shit was amazing that and shit. also eye opening. Mm. Yeah, and what way? How nasty and beautiful the game can be at Come the same on, dog. time. Talk it, like it, it taught me how beautiful the game could be because they pay for our flights. They had a nigga in a beautiful hotel. We like two blocks away from the shoot. We get to that bitch, full VIP treatment, wardrobe, it's makeup. They we, the crowd is already ready because they got real Chicago comedians that they using for warm ups and shit. It, they're taking my jokes and they making it brought to life. Mm. And my joke, which was on the run of Jordan episode, come on, sir, got the same joke episode. of the fucking year. The, the, the June yeah. team joke and the salsa jokes yes. went down in history, bro. Mm-hmm. Yes. But also, me and jo- Ronnie Jordan witnessed a whole department get fired. Like while we was getting dressed, like At I was the sh- in the dressing room, <laughs> like they passing out goodie bags, like and it's got all the swag and network shit in it, and yeah. like oh my god, you nailed your fucking episode, you were fucking amazing. You know, white people love to say fucking in there, right. you were fucking amazing. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, you fucking killed it. Yeah. And then somebody was like, hey, can we talk to y'all? They was like, give us one fucking second. And then it, right. yeah. and then they got through handing out the bags, and they was like, yeah, what is? And they was like, hey. We got two bags for y'all. Oh <laughs> 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 no! Hey, they gave him a true piece. TV hood and <laughs> like a neck <laughs> pillow and, 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 and a blue blanket. The they gave us, and was like, we, "We got first class flights for y'all. When y'all get back Monday, clear your desks out." Oh. The whole department at True TV at the end got the liquidated. Wow. On the show. And they came and had the executive from Time Warner pull the trigger at the last thing that they produced, mm-hmm. which was lab tracks. Yeah. Right. Sheesh. I was about to, yeah, I had, yeah, I had man, some shit come on, growing bro. right then, too. And the thing about True TV, they were so cool to us. That was our second time doing it. Black Ron and Ben and for development. I didn't, they don't pull me to, told me to come to New York. What you want to develop? Like, mm-hmm. at the table. Like, it was cool being at them big tables, like, what you want to do? Shout you out to Rohit saying? and Lars. Shout out to Paul, man. And Paul Paul B. Paul oh, boy, B was yeah. the one. He was the coolest one, bro. And then when Paul got fired, he was like, he walked back over. I was like, damn, Paul, why the white lady pull you over? I was like, she was mad at y'all. He was like, funny you say that. Just got fired. I was like, you bullshit. You got to be bullshit. Yeah, man. He was like, nah, for real. Yeah, they just let us all go. Yeah. And I was like, damn, Paul, so what that you going to do? He was like, oh, I'm straight. Yeah. And that's when I found out how good them, them positions paid. Oh, they gave him severance and the severance hit. Nigga, you better go home with the family. 
that couldn't have been down <laughs> one of Paul was kicking it, wasn't it? Yeah, Paul was kicking <laughs> it. Paul was like, nigga, I just had a baby. Yeah. I'm um, chilling. Perfect time to split. Perfect time to go home. And but be Paul helped me and Tyler get like everything together. Like we had a, yeah. we, we were finna blow up right before the pandemic. You we had were dealt with no we Garden Schwartz that was about Whoa. to drop. Oh, yeah. Uh, Noah and Clayton English, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. Right that right shit was that. dope. Yeah, shit I remember was that premise. Ask me how I know. Because you was finna be on the staff. Nigga. I know. Cause my shit, my baby died on a development table. Mm-hmm. Mine didn't die. They were like, "What you want to do?" Around? I'm like, "I don't know, man. Some TV shit." He <laughs> <laughs> said, "Some TV shit." <laughs> well, we'll get back to and you, flew man. Flew all the way the fuck up there, like shit. Yeah, a show, a show. <laughs> Y'all be doing TV shit. Hate stuff. you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to shit. She was sure, lovely for your bar, baby. It was jokes. good for me, man. Oh, y'all got movies here? Y'all got some movies? <laughs> <laughs> y'all want to do some movies? Y'all want to do some movies? <laughs> <laughs> I know a nigga He been in the background Of the last six Cult classics yeah. I can call him right now <laughs> So what, what was one of, What was the I mean you, you just mentioned A bunch of different events That were seen pretty dope You know for the life of comedian Was any of those Like your pinnacle I guess moments so far My pinnacle moment Outside of doing The, the 30 minute for epics Would be uh, Bob Sumner brought me up To do the Apollo It's mm. hard and mm. I headlined at the Apollo Comedy Club. Mm. That's hard. So to see my name and lights at the Apollo. And now here's the the so I don't, I don't I'm not a Christian, but I'm very much so a spiritual person. As a matter of fact, when I stepped away from Jesus, I got a whole lot closer to God. Mm. And God shows me shit in in, in visions. Mm-hmm. And so then with, with my overactive ass imagination, I have to walk it out. <laughs> so I saw this vision of me standing underneath the marquee with my hand like this, like <laughs> Vanna White, yeah. the marquee. <laughs> so this is my first trip in New York. I don't do touristy shit when I go to towns. Like to this day, I've still never gone to the Hollywood sign, never walked the Hall of Fame or none of that shit, right? Mm. So I say, take me past all the Malcolm X buildings. Because by this time, niggas been calling me the Malcolm X comedy for like three years. Dick Gregory stamped it and everything. Mm-hmm. On the way down, we passing by the Apollo Theater. I didn't even know it was right there. It's dark. Nigga finna take me to LaGuardia Airport and drop me off. But you got to go down 125th. We pass by the Apollo. I tell him, pull up, pull up, pull up. He take some pictures. I put my hand up like this. A year later... My fucking name is in lights. Mm. And that's the reason why my hand was like this. Mm. Because I was pointing at my own fucking name. Mm. Wow. That's all. It's crazy. I'll be at the Apollo January 24th, too. Okay. To Come on, man. Hey, hey, man. All right. This is about me running Jordan. Yeah. Every time I say I did this, so we were like, yeah, I did that. Welcome to Ronnie's world. Damn. Damn. I was with the barcades. Right. We and know then, you know what everything is. I've, like. I've never done the Apollo. <laughs> That nigga got. I've been there, battle with everybody, boy. That nigga talking to Because he Obama. really have, bro. He thirty fifty. Thirty fifty. I never done the Apollo, man. I never. I never got to even run around like all them clubs in New York. I done a few of them, but they were like between schools, so I never just got to kick it in New York and go to all the clubs. I've been to like Comedy Cellar a couple of times, but never got to. Uh, you gotta put. You gotta take a picture. Like that. since I. No, I'm definitely. <laughs> that, since I became a daddy, you gotta go to Carolina. I, be- I become <laughs> so emotionally soft. I think it's because I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I would never cry at, you know what I'm saying, tender moments or sad movies or, you know right. what I'm saying, like people have actually died in front of me and I wasn't moved to tears, you know what I'm saying. I don't like going to funerals because of all the sudden outbursts and screaming and crying and shit, you know what I'm saying. But Real since quick, having, no one likes funerals. Go ahead. No, nah, I'm sorry. A lot of people <laughs> no, get off on that shit. Hell, bro. A lot of people hilarious. get off on that shit. For real, for real. <laughs> they are fun niggas. There's, there's some there's people that are grief for us. They run your whole Instagram okay. now. It is some shit, boy. They just run your page. You be oh, like, oh, being shit, there telling Granny, too much truth. About? I don't know why y'all brought me up here. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all didn't even fuck with grandmama like that. Tony. <laughs> Tony. Tony. <laughs> yeah. You ain't never cut the grass. Sheila, you too. Like, that nigga was going hard. Somebody uh, said, go get him. Go get him. But, um. Since having my daughter, bro, like I can't do nothing emotional mm. without breaking down, crying. Like I'm talking about with the Will Smith, 
But sue the happiness when that nigga was trying to kick the bathroom door in. <laughs> when nigga put both his hands yeah. on the mouth. <laughs> He was like, they gonna rape both of us, nigga. <laughs> they gonna rape both of us. <laughs> Me and my son. We in here. We is in here. Hey, bro. With this one machine, hey, goddamn my it. nigga. I could not. With this one machine. <laughs> one motherfucking machine. You gotta mess up your bone, nigga. I used to laugh at that. <laughs> I nigga movie. needed that bone. Having nigga. my daughter in 2007, I watched I didn't, that movie. That shit was a lot. That shit was hilarious. Yeah. In 2011, I had my daughter and I watched that shit again. I sat there rocking my baby and just crying like, it was "Go use much. another bathroom." No, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the this one too hot. <laughs> you know the part that hot. Hey, you, you know the part that fuck you up that, that make you that got that hip the lump in my throat <laughs> when that nigga was just going to trader school and that nigga said and the, and the boss was like, "Give me seven bucks for cap." And that was all that nigga. <laughs> that nigga he said, "Give me, you have to got cash." And he was, was like, a and he gave me five life." He, he, he snapped. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, ah, and he knew he wasn't gonna get him back. <laughs> that was that Chuck. Nigga just gave him about that ten dollars. Him and his baby gave for that shit on two days. Nah, five slices of pizza, bro. What that nigga did? That five life. He got seven dollars for the cab, nigga. No. He said, "Hey, hey, come here. I don't have cash." No, when he did the Rubik's cube. <laughs> and cuz jumped out the cab and left that nigga with the bill. Like, yeah. like oh, damn. Uh. 27 50. <laughs> Come on, 27 50. Yeah, like, nigga. damn. Yeah, he caught a lot <laughs> of bad boys. nigga old lady left. He said, Well, go be happy, Rose. <laughs> go be happy. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you don't want to say. <laughs> I think I'm going. I'm being gone. That's well, go why be you are happy. Gone. <laughs> it was Jada, too. That's the fucked up part. <laughs> Jada. Jada been hurt this nigga so bad. But it's real. Jada broke the shit. Fresh Prince. Got Ooh, shit. You know hey, he bro. said Jada three times while they were shooting him. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. It's well, Rose. Well, you keep seeing Jada. It's Rose. Speaking of the goddamn Jada, bro, these comments on these live shows been going crazy. You know what I'm saying? On Thursday night's run, going to be there this Thursday. Yes, sir. Last week we had Cookie. Oh, bro! Somebody was like, like, "This two girl is uh breaking up Jada and Will, bro." Let's just <laughs> Jada stood, bro. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> hey, real, real talk, bro. Oh, oh no! Oh my god! Oh, man. If man, talking about crazy, sex dog, with your husband of twenty plus years is embarrassing after y'all have already suffered a public embarrassment. Mm. Your relationship is over, over, bro. Right. And, and everybody talking about like the red table talk is where they go to vent. Shout out to my nigga Tony Baker. He was all on Jada's side. Like, y'all don't understand what the red table talk is designed. It's designed for people to get their shit off and talk about their innermost, you know, private things. I'm like, man, was there a licensed therapist at that red table? Right. Mm. Was Will present at the red table to defend his fucking self? Because mm. you basically shit on this nigga in front of the whole fucking world after saying you was in love with Tupac and the only reason why you didn't get your whole life to him is because he died. Will mm. was basically a rebound, nigga, because you got with Will like six months after Pac died. Go back and do the math. Because a year later, she had Jaden, and Will did just the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> Go do the math, cuz. <laughs> what he do? Yeah, <laughs> just Do I like people gonna make you mad? Disrespect <laughs> you and treat you bad. Let God deal with the things that he do. Cause hey, in your heart, we'll consume you too. Oh, oh God. Man, I think Will really don't give a fuck. Like, I believe he'd be like, dude, if y'all do shit, I'd be doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's the same. That's yeah, he, cool. You know what? Oh, His face okay. look like. But in public, that's what I was about to say. We supposed to be a united front. Yeah, yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for don't sure. Don't do me like that every time. Like, nobody right. even talking to you, bitch. Like, nobody even yeah, chill out. It's I used to carry life. all over again. Like, don't nobody even be hollering at me. Like, they not supposed to. to. Mrs. Curry. Damn, you know what? Like, mad because niggas has respect. is respecting <laughs> your marriage. So like, she said that. So she pushed saying it was niggas sending that dick, that, that hammer to that bitch. Right, wow, yeah, bitch. Hammer, uh, hammer time, bitch. Yeah, I play power <laughs> forward. I've got 41 opportunities right. for me to put JR time in on the TV. Right. It's a JR Smith hammer. She got it. Like, y'all wonder. Wondering why niggas ain't quick to get in relationships and quick to get married these days and shit is because real talk niggas don't see where it weighs out and pays out for us. It's like, oh shit, we gotta pay for all them dates. Boom. You gotta look this way when you're saying that because they can't. 
responded. Oh, we gotta pay for all them days. They <laughs> <laughs> think they responded. Oh, no, they, 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 yeah, they got they got sit there with the stone <laughs> face. <laughs> The whole shit shut up. He's like, man, I don't even see this crazy for marriage. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a lot of. Hey, no, it's a lot of. I ain't smiling. No, I ain't smiling. I ain't frowning. I ain't breathe. <laughs> I feel happy. Look at running, running, running every day. Ain't that right? Running. Yes, it is. Come on. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> And if you think my wife finna watch past the fruit tray part, it be your wife friend that watches. Yeah, be oh yeah, they send all the it. No, they yeah. screenshot and send the clip. Yeah. 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 Black yeah. Run talking this? about marriages, and Ronnie was like, "Yeah, yeah. you're right." My wife don't be. <laughs> my wife don't be tripping on none oh of that God, shit. God, that God, shit he's she's got a real Yeah, y'all, y'all do. So with what you're saying though, if you do watch their relationships, you can be like, oh, I can see that. I can yeah, do they that. They got real ones. I can right, do that. But they shit. But ain't you don't really get to see too many marriages aren't firsthand. Women are designed like, like their wives anymore. That is an old some out unit. There. No disrespect, call y'all wives. They come oh, with a thirteen year old. Though. They do come with a thirteen year old. <laughs> they come with a baby already. They come with a thirteen year old. He hooping though, but you can catch one that. But yeah, I mean, the nigga get like some seeds. You, you gotta go to the. You gotta <laughs> go to the Ron in them games. Balls. You gotta go to the game. You gotta be strong, which means you got to fight him for real. You ain't gonna be able to like. You ain't gonna be able to like give him like sixty percent mm. from a wise man to a young pop. Now I could have whooped your ass. <laughs> now go do your homework. You gotta be like, boop. Now when you wake your bitch ass yes. up, right? Your algebra still do, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And don't be doing that falling down the stairs shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, you conscious. Like, right. push him right. get up for your mama get home. Yeah. Like, you gotta, <laughs> don't tell your mama shit. Don't just, and if your mama asks you about these stone prints on your back. <laughs> hey, how, how would you feel if your mom, like, like the, what's the dude who plays for, uh, oh, Lord. Uh, a Royal Canyon, the, the basketball. Like, he, like his his mom dating Drake. Anyway. Oh yeah, 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 the nigga mama date Drake, but he got like an over your chain. This nigga taking pictures. So his, his, Drake, ma his mama so fine. Drake, Drake ate the first. Guess nigga. who's the biggest fan in this house? Right. <laughs> Drake ain't the first nigga that had been. But Drake like got that. the stadium. Had to dodge the stadium for this nigga mama. But, but he, been, his, no, he but, said he been around since he was like in tenth so, grade. Or he been knowing that kid for a while. Like he been fucking with his. Uh, her, Drake been his dad for three years. Okay. So like he low key grew up with. He been knowing since he was fifteen. He about to go to. College, well, NBA now. So he low key like, mad that his mama is just yet one of Drake's hoes. Yeah, it's like that's really like, you could lock this nigga down in 2018. Bitch. Bro, Why did you get your tubes tied? What is wrong with you? She's like, I'm 40. <laughs> 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 I want he likes his pussy 28. <laughs> what happened, mama? I turned 29. <laughs> he had breakfast knocking bagels out of hand. Bitch, Drake don't, Drake don't like that. <laughs> mama, 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 no bread. Don't don't get mama, mama, no bread. bread. Mama, if you don't get this hot pop orange juice out this fridge. Drake don't I'm like, like that. Learn how to ice skate, bitch. You know, <laughs> mama. If you don't go get the butter with the cholesterol back in it, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, like shit. Oh, Is it man. that time? Yeah, man. I'm gonna get this. Uh, first of all, thank you, brother. Appreciate right, you, man. Hey, man. I'm glad you fresh off the plane. I know long, you are. Oh yeah, you, you just got here today. I just got here today. Come on, man. I, I had you. to thank come you, back. They was like, yeah, you want to do more than coach? I was like, shit. Hell what yeah. And he gonna be at the spot Thursday. Yeah, he gonna be so at the spot Thursday. Yeah, he's gonna be out. Only, only thing, oh, only thing, be. Only thing I, right. I'm mad that y'all don't have the old theme nah. music. I, I actually liked the jazzy. Mm, theme music. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Hey, that was my shit. I hear it in my sleep. <laughs> After a big laugh, they throw that. I don't know, Dot. You might bring it back. Dot, bring it back. I'm bring I'm it back. Back. I've been At least for this episode. See, right. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say that I was one of the first 100 subscribers to Let's my get it. Culture hey. show. Yes, sir. I've been watching More Than Culture since like episode four. Mm. Ooh, shit. Now we on 204. Come I remember on, when y'all used to do the, the More Than Culture shit in. Uh, Somebody's office because it would have sketches of what y'all was gonna shoot on the board <laughs> that was behind awesome. y'all and that was shit. God dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nine sketches that we ain't shoot. Yeah, I've been Still fucking with y'all since that, since that Shout long. Bro. Pictures, the pictures of that board is in everybody's phone. What times. was the 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 show y'all used to do? Which one? The, the snack pack, and then y'all used to do another show. Y'all used to do this show. Remember, every, all the vendors would come. Everybody the would come. Cool. Oh, the shit. AF shows. The Aries as fuck was the first yeah, one. The AF shows. AF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live I did shows. one Halloween of them. As fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Somebody gave up. me yeah. some weed nachos, and mm -hmm. then I had to go on stage, and both y'all 
despicable motherfuckers gave me a blunt at the same time. <laughs> it was a vibe. It's yeah. always shout out, one. good girl gourmet. I'm sure I think she the one that had the nachos, if I'm and, not mistaken. But those kickbacks was the moment that I remember realizing, like, fuck these clubs, stay out of their shit, let's build our own shit. Yeah, got it. That was the first time bring I realized. Yeah, that was the first time I realized like we have a following. Yeah, yeah that was the saying, year when I facts. stopped hating. <laughs> That's real. Talk about it though, because I think I know where you're getting at. But talk about that. Yeah, like but, as, as comedians, like I don't know, like the generations before us, like hated each other. Like they didn't want to see each other win. They were not genuinely happy for one another. Like they were all going for one spot. Yeah, like even the ones that came up together eventually were at each other's throats and shit. Like so, <clears throat> you raised to like hate other comics to like find fault in they in they shit. Like that's why I had that cocky ass attitude that. At boats that the dude that went ahead of me did some bullshit and it was winning. No, that nigga knew how to connect to that crowd. And if I would have got over my fucking self, maybe I would have did the same thing. Mm. Once I stopped hating on everybody else mm. and start genuinely building bonds with other fucking comedians. And then when those niggas would get on and get opportunities, be genuinely happy for them. Not happy for the fact that maybe they might throw me something. Just be happy. But happy for mm. them. Mm. On, genuinely happy that you're able to do your shit feed your family, take care of your kids, get your name out there that people finally get to see you and see what we've always seen in you. On, when man. I shifted my focus like that, bro, shit started popping for me, my nigga. Shit started mm -hmm. happening for me because I got out my own goddamn way. That's when I started rocking the crystals and shit because that's when I became conscious, which means not only to be alert and aware and awake, but also to be deliberate and intentional. Mm-hmm. When mm -hmm. I made the conscious decision to be conscious mm. and guard my own energy and then be conscious of the energy that I'm putting out, all of a sudden, good energy by the law of attraction starts coming back to me. And it also starts separating me from all of the other comedians I had met in all of the other cities that really didn't mean me no fucking good. Because mm. Tyler, tell you, you know... I, I know they'll, they'll show themselves if you if you stay righteous. Niggas, they can't fake that shit for long. Niggas, will, you'll feel it. You be like, oh, I, I, knew, I had a feel you about come you. The town anyway. is genuine love because you a motherfucking stranger. They don't care if you live or die. You'll get everybody's phone number. Everybody will smoke a blunt with you. The second time you come and you a feature and you do good, niggas will pick you up from the airport and it's love. The moment you come back <laughs> as a headliner in that niggas town, yep. Now yeah. you're a motherfucking problem. You're mm -hmm. a threat. Yep. And only the niggas that truly fuck with you will <laughs> fuck with you from that point on. Those niggas that truly fuck with you and those niggas that see you as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So yeah, then you start time. saying, okay, most high God, guard my energy and keep niggas that don't mean me no well away from me. Mm. Keep them all the way the Come fuck on. away from me. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it means that I lose out on opportunities. I don't mm -hmm. care if that means I lose bread. I don't care if that means I fall off. Keep the fuck shit away from me. Come and on, I'm going to do my best to stay away from the fuck shit. Come on. Shout out to that nigga who I don't fuck with. I saw you on my live today. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't know it was you. <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> he, was yeah. More, he thought it was more than culture yeah. shit. Appreciate you buying the badge, uh, nigga. Yeah, but, but that was your anyway, first talk about celebrating the people of culture. Yeah. Can we just give it up for 85 South for launching Channel 85? Man, come on, man. They launched, they launched their own channel. Let's go. Everybody, every culture, Rican, every culture cousin, go subscribe. Pay 85 your, It's $85 South. for the year. Go on and pay the Don't 85 pay for the year it, or 850 a month. You get to see the live show. And can I say this while we on that? You don't have to pick and choose which set of collective niggas you gonna support. Come on. Nah, Come never on. that. Number one, they don't air their podcasts and shows on the same day of the week. One just time. for the algorithm's sake. But number two, all these niggas know each other. They all cool with each other in real life. They've all done each other's shows. They've all done each other's tours and shit. Why the fuck are y'all trying to pit us against each other? Mm -hmm. Why are y'all having to choose between us? It's not like it was in the 90s and the early 2000s where only one of us can be at the top. We are plateauing the peak of the fucking mountain so that we can make room for all of us to stand at that motherfucker at Come the on. same time. All niggas got to do is be willing to climb. If you willing to climb, niggas, space for you at the top. If not, we'll carve down the mountain until there is. Mm. Come on. Man. And now a silly joke from the comments. 
Because <laughs> I'm about to take the offering. I'm like, God damn. I hit time to call a soul to the nah, altar. For real, thank you, man, for Here coming through, man. One of the fucking shit. I'm talking about, so before we do get out of here, and speaking of flowers, man, you know, as a, as a writer, and we're all writers in here in different ways and shit, but like a writer of comedy, man, to watch him do his thing and where he starts a joke and where he ends up taking you on that ride, I can't. I don't think I've seen nothing like it. You were talking about my favorite moments. Like, weekend, I was hosting. I was hosting. You was headlining at uh, Oak. Mm. So, Oak, you do three shows for the weekend. Mm-hmm. And this man did 40 different minutes each show. 40. Top to bottom. Now, I ain't talking about, like, might have changed up a joke or two. No. 40 different. And I'm watching all of them shits. Like I said, I love watching this shit. 40 different fucking minutes. Friday. Two show Saturday. So salute to you on that. Now to the silly shit. So every week we we um <clears throat> say something, you know, shout out to our people in the comments, our culture Ricans. Ricans. Some of that really fucking Is fun. that what y'all call your fan base? Yeah. yeah. I, culture cousins. I culture like that cousins, more. culture Ricans. I'm gonna say I started off a culture cousin. I didn't know I got a little Hey. Hey. I think Culture Ricans would be the winner. I think Culture so I, so I feel like I think we did start kind yeah. of it was separate. Culture cousins is the are the guests, the people that come yeah. through. You are a culture cousin. Culture Ricans are the fans. Culture yes. Ricans are the phone. So I'm both a culture cousin and a culture Rican. You a cousin Rican? I'm a fan, right? Like Rican. we all brothers. I started right. off a fan, yeah, I mean, but your but cousin is your cousin. Guess. That's your cousin. That cousin, cousin is your cousin. But we all brothers under the Lord. But Amen. Your cousin but but, but your my cousin. cousin is my cousin. You feel me? Yes. All right, here we go. <laughs> also, my friend. <laughs> this is from a person that has a funny name as well, Mister Ovary Massager. <laughs> great great that's, YouTube name. That's Fur. <laughs> <laughs> It is a black circle. It's, 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 it's a black circle. It's a black circle. So this is a this is a tag team because somebody replied to it and I just saw that and I think it's kind of funny too. Doom, again, doom, doom, it was a tag team from Mr. Overmassage. Mr. Overmassage and then somebody added a reply underneath. It says, uh, <clears throat> Remo got a denim shower curtain with the pockets. <laughs> 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 the follow up from D. Coleman <laughs> a day later <laughs> nonetheless says <laughs> He put his loofah and body sugar in there. <laughs> I thought they were talking about body this shirt. Sugar. Body, body sugar. Body sugar. God, I said he got a, sh- a denim shower curtain. <laughs> I thought they were talking about this you know denim shirt. Sure. Because we were, in particular, we're talking about uh, Remo selling some of his denim, denim in this episode. denim shirts that ain't shit. The Remember? denim. No, auction. Not selling, auctioning some of your denim. Have you thought yeah, about yeah, yeah. the piece? No, no. I, I've been... I laid them out. <laughs> laid them all out. Oh, you got several of them shirts. <laughs> Which I don't know. Oh, jeans, are jeans that he's gonna auction off. Like he's like this. Oh, he gonna sell them on heavens to bets. <laughs> <laughs> I had a talk with all of them. I'm like, listen. I had a talk. They were standing up. Jesus it might be time. <laughs> it might be time for me to get one of y'all off because they talking about five hundred. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they talking about five hundred. They talking about five hundred. They talking about five hundred. Whatever they talking about, it's more than you're right. worth. Dinar. It's a long way from Jimmy Jazz. <laughs> five hundred. You know, Jimmy you know how many pairs of jeans <laughs> you can buy at Jimmy Jazz for five hundred dollars. But they won't be these five hundred. Fifty. They won't have the spirit, bro. They got fifty five hundred dollars, bro. Wait, now listen, you get now the listen, they got a gold rush on them jeans. It's so these jeans come yo, with engines the mouth in the on knees. Your jeans are so loud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, close the lips on one of them jean knees. <laughs> but Remo, Remo, you, Remo, you the first person that get some jeans for Jimmy Jazz, and they appreciate. Mm. Mm. The, the price he be getting his jeans. So which ones you pick? I though? know the maternity Amazon jeans when I see them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the jeans them little pregnant lesbians be wearing. So be... <laughs> Presbians. 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 <laughs> Not to be confused with Presbians. I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> That'll do me. That's hilarious. Uh, but which one you pick for real before we get to it? Oh, you, you ain't picking made still. No, no, no. We're still in in in. Uh, <laughs> still in deliberation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the hospital we got a, when we she got a top three. Up. This nigga got Squid Games with his jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is out there hooping. Oh, 
We got oh, top three. Oh boy, boy. Hey, that's that nigga playing with Chef uh, on the Your roof. Boys, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga up there with nuts up. Chef, come on, Chef. What you got? No. What you got? Nuts got to jump off the roof. Chef is out. Leon outside hooping. Damn, damn shame what they I did. Flip. Leon was my daddy. That's funny as hell. You used to say what? Leon was my daddy. Oh, so geez. tomorrow <laughs> look like pictures of my daddy though. So tomorrow oh, afternoon, I just got the call. Twelve o'clock. Me, Keisha Lance Bottoms. We having a picnic. In Washington Park with Ronnie's shirt and the tape cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. I said, how you know oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm yeah. in the new yeah. yeah. bro. No oh, man. But tomorrow actually is the I don't get no come on words. No, no, and we was waiting. Oh, okay. Hey, man. Uh, Black Friday, man. Heavy, heavy yeah. AF. The comedy album is dropping, man. Yeah. Black yes, Friday. Sir. Black Friday, yeah. November 26th. November 26th. Oh, it's the 26th. Shoes mm-hmm. Productions. Yeah. November 26th, I'll also be at the Cleveland Improv hosting. I mean, headlining. Headlining. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. Hell yeah. Gotta get, Gotta get it drunk. November 20th, Norfolk, Virginia. Catch me. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> also, okay. Black Ron got the boost on from She Drives Me Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but what is that? <laughs> That's to find young cannibals. That's that boost. Remember that group? <laughs> <laughs> he said he got them all from. And then he said yes. he saw. <laughs> he got the boots on with the night. Ronnie sat back in that chair like he was gonna take me off the schedule. <laughs> Supervisor built that Ron, I'm the only Ron on this goddamn yeah. shit. I'm on the Ron on this shit. I'm on the 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 shit. Go, we do, good. go build them down. Go with, with, with Johnson and them. It's fine. Go build them. I had it nice. I got yeah, my little go clean the freezer till I think of something else for you to you do. You in the break room in a nigga lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was in two bags. Well, I, I didn't know both wrong. of them was yours. Right. It said Ron on it. No, I didn't. Yeah, it, it was on both bags. I Ooh. thought one of them was mine. Y'all yeah, niggas are something. I else. drew a crystal on yours. <laughs> <laughs> and I drew a diamond on mine. A crystal. <laughs> So full oh, amethyst man. on your bag. Oh, it's man. that time, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh-huh. We like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. We give the people some words of wisdom. Get through the week, get to the next episode. I'm Kamal Secret Genius. Oh, words of yeah. the week. Oh, this. <laughs> you funny as hell. <laughs> it don't matter if they know your name when you get there. As long as they remember you when you leave. Unless you're stealing. <laughs> I what you said? Unless you're stealing. <laughs> Unless you're stealing. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Very much so fair. But nah. <laughs> this girl walked up to me at the keep your distance shit after she had hugged everybody in the circle because she knew them. <laughs> <laughs> she said, like I had a mask on, which I didn't. I can't tell who you are. I remember that. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't tell. I can't tell who you are. She said it to his face. I was like, what? what? She's like, I can't like, see who I'm you like, are. Wow. Wow. Here. I know he got a mask on. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Los Angeles, man. Um, But she knew who I was when I left. Mm. Come on now. She ain't got win. She was getting proposed to. Got that hug. Yeah, yeah. That's what matters. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's who it was. I know. <laughs> but to his credit, my nigga said, no, you just don't know who I am. <laughs> hey. Right, right, right. I like it. It's all fair. All fair. She could have said that differently, but you handled it. I first. love, I like the quiet before the storm. I like when a nigga, a visiting team, you just come and see it and watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but when it's our turn, though. Yeah. Nah, you, you know, know what? So they, when you speaking of like when niggas do good uh, after you do bad, like I, when you on the flip side of that and niggas walk in there like, man, they just ain't laughing, they just ain't laughing. You go out there and flip some shit over, and you walk back in there like, well, I, mean, I don't you know, what, I don't know what you was talking about because that yeah, crowd, some man, yeah. <laughs> this thing was man, wet for me. Time right. Right. Man, squirted it twice. I'm coming back next time. You tell me a remote spot. I'm coming back next Thursday. Man. Oh no, they, <laughs> oh like they be done walked off and smoked. They came back. They were tight one. Nah, they weren't. Hey, you ever real? And and a nigga don't wanna 
Like if it's an open mic, a nigga, nigga got something to do when he bomb. Hey man, I gotta go and get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no, nah, immediately. Gotta take my kids to the airport yeah. at six a.m. Gotta get the fuck on. <laughs> they ain't even packed yet. <laughs> <you. laughs> <laughs> my son play football. We run here. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. grandma, she got eye surgery. Yeah, <laughs> she got I got eye surgery. surgery. I got to do it. <laughs> I got to do it. <laughs> I got to do it. <laughs> I got to get rest. But when it's a show, show like a nigga on the road and shit, and he eat that sandwich. Like we out there in the receiving line in the front. Nowhere to run to, baby. <laughs> you said the emergency. Somebody walk up and be like, "Oh my fucking god, you were amazing!" Ooh, and that joke you do, black eyed peas, bitch. I said, black eyed peas. Oh my fucking god, boy. Let me get one of your shirts. Oh my god, where can I follow you? Can we get a picture? And they look over and bumsky bum 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 McGee sitting right next to him. Like you was good too. Yeah. Either that or you'll take this picture for us. Right. I was in the show too. <laughs> Hurtful. No, they look at you and say, I thought you was good. <laughs> mean, they I thought like you was fine. Keep your head up. Yeah. Man. We like it. <laughs> I would like yeah. fuck, fuck with you, big dog. Big dog. Big dog. I'll Stay fuck with it. You. I thought you was fine. <laughs> fuck what they said. I had the only one. I stick with it, boy. <laughs> they be acting like if anybody gonna keep him suicide. <laughs> right. And like, but yo, I didn't hear one laugh. <laughs> I like pink tennis shoes. I don't give a fuck with nobody. <laughs> that jacket I <laughs> tennis shoes. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> not your, not your uh, jacket. It's all right. <laughs> ain't no worse than you be doing comedy a but like 15, 20 years and niggas say stick with it, dog. You be like, I stuck. Ooh, I, I am stuck. I am, I am, I am stuck. stuck. Oh, oh nigga, what I'm saying? You just doing. started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with with it, dog. More than culture is the brand. It's the more than culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles. Moose and Leia. <laughs> Tyler Chronicles knees. Ah, he need to Ryan change. Jordan, special guest. And Black Ron. Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was in Tyler Crocker's knees, Ronnie Jones belly. <laughs> <laughs> Remo's denim. We out. Follow me on Insta Face. Key.